alone. Yes, I won't have to cross Jordan alone. <laughs> Jesus died all my sins to atone when in darkness I see he'll be waiting for me I don't have to cross Jordan alone. <laughs> Hallelujah. To God be the glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. To God be all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. To God be all the glory in the name of Yahshua, Amashiach, the Nazarene. <laughs> Mighty God. Mighty God. That's who he is, the great deliverer. The Prince of Peace, the I am that I am. For those of you that are here, welcome to the program. I greet you in the mighty name of. Yahshua, Amashiach of Nazareth. I just want to thank God for his mercies towards us. I just want to thank him for his spirit of truth towards us. I just want to thank him because of who he is. Amen. And I just want to thank him for what he or what she has done. <laughs> uh, a lot of people tend to say God is a he, but he can be described as both. Amen. Your father and your mother. Amen. So he is a father because he is a protector and he is a mother because he's a comforter. So God can be described as your mother. Amen. The comforter based upon the Bible in St. John chapter 14, verse 26. But the comforter who is your mother shall comfort you and teach you all things. <laughs> A lot of people don't like what Mrs. said. But the comforter who is your mama <laughs> shall comfort you and teach you all things. Amen. Your mama is your first teacher. You didn't know that? Yeah. Mama is always the first teacher. So the Bible clearly declare the comforter who is your mama <laughs> shall teach you all things. Amen. 
I am going away now, you know. That's what Jesus of Nazareth said. I am going away now. He came, he introduced to us the Father. He introduced to us the Son. And then when he was going away, he introduced to us the Mama and the Sister. Amen. What do I mean by this? For those of you that are here, first thing you need to understand, we always see God in a masculine manner. But when Jesus Christ of Nazareth came here, then we saw him in a comforting manner. Amen. We saw him in a comforting manner. The Bible said, this is what the Bible said. The Bible said that when I go away now, then I'm going to send the comforter. Amen. And when I send the comforter, the comforter shall teach you all things concerning me. That's what the Bible said. The comforter shall teach you all things concerning me. Amen. And the comforter shall comfort you. That's what the Bible said. For those of you that are here, welcome to the program. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I greet you in the name of Yahshua Amashiach of Nazareth. So TikTok is no hope. It take a while, but TikTok is no hope. TikTok is no hope. Bless the Lord. All right. So TikTok is no hope. The system was given a little problem, but TikTok is no hope. Welcome to the program, everybody. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead and share the program. Let them know that we are on. Let them know that we are back. And let them know, amen, that we are here to give God the glory. Evangelist Maureen Mitchell. Evangelist Mitchell. Amen. So for those of you that are here, welcome to the program. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For those of you who have been watching YouTube, thank you. For those of you who have been watching YouTube, thank you. Amen. Go ahead and share the YouTube channel. You watch the YouTube channel. Do not keep the truth to yourself. It would be selfish to find the truth and then keep the truth for yourself. Because I find the truth, you know, I'm sharing the truth with you. Amen. When the woman at the well find the truth, or should I say, when the truth find her, amen, she was now um, vocal because all along she was silent, you know. But when she find the truth, she was vocal. Did you know that the woman represents a church? The woman at the well of Samaria represents a church. Just like how the woman in Genesis chapter 3 verse 6 represents a church. Anytime you hear the word woman, woman represents a church. Amen? And that is why you are called the bride of Christ and the church of the living God. And that is one of the reasons why Satan don't like you. Satan don't like you because, listen to me, can't stand you. For those female on the program, welcome to the program. Amen. God richest blessings upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I greet you with God powerful love. Amen. And his richest blessings. Bless the Lord. Uh, we're here to give God the glory. We're here to give him the honor. Is there any question that you'd like to ask before we go any further? Amen. Is there any question? Uh, somebody asked me a question. If I can remember, no. If I can remember the question, no. 
someone asked me a question. I'm not remembering the question, no. Amen. But um, I saw a quote. The other day I saw a text. I love the text so much. It said, this world that we're living in have a disease problem. <laughs> when I saw the text, I was like, okay, this get my interest. Uh, it get me interested when it said, this world is having a disease problem. And then it went on to say, what is the problem? What is the disease problem? It said, the disease is lack of love. My God. <laughs> we have a problem, epidemic, lack of love. Amen. And that seems to be a problem throughout the world today, lack in love. And that's why the Bible tells us, the Bible said, if I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not love, then I am as a, you know, you have some people who love speaking a tongue. But them seems to have the worst relationship. Amen. They seems to have the worst relationship. Amen. With others. Everybody want to tell you, know, I love God. Everybody love God. No, no, I have no problem with that. Your problem is not loving God. You know. Your problem is loving Glen Roy. <laughs> That is your problem. Your problem is loving Glen Roy. Glen Roy disgusting. <laughs> what about when you love Glen Roy? Can you imagine? Listen to me. We love everybody, you know, except each other. No, serious. We love everybody. Because if you ask everybody, you know what he is. Do you love God? Yes. Do you love Brother Smith? I'm thinking about it. Brother Smith, do you love God? Yes. Do you love Glen Roy? Well, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> no, serious. <laughs> we don't have a problem loving God, you know. I would never see God yet. <laughs> we don't have a problem loving God. <laughs> but when me feel love Sister Michelle, uh, me feel love you, when me see. Hard man. Because my time when I met me, I had hot me man. Cho. I stand on <laughs> Amen. And that's why the, the individual said, the, the love that we have is an epidemic. It's a disease, a cancer. Cancerous disease. And it is eating away humanity. Because I love everybody, you know. I can't stand my neighbor them. I'm disgusting. <laughs> now, the Bible clearly states, you hypocrite. That's what the Bible called me, you know. That's why I'm not like the Bible. <laughs> the Bible always called me out. Lord, my God, the Bible always will call me out. You hypocrite. How can you say you love God who you don't see and your brother them who you see you don't like? The Bible daring like that, you know? And that's why I mean I like it. You don't know, say so you have a whole heap of people who don't like the Bible. Yes, man. A whole heap of people who don't like the Bible because I want to live the way I want to live. The Bible has stopped me. Serious. But one thing I love with the Bible, though, the Bible is a conscionable book. You just read it, and all of a sudden, conscience is just chipping. <laughs> you can't read any book, you know. Somebody can't tell about anything. No, serious. Somebody can't tell you something, and you just go through one ears and go through the next. But once you read the Bible, conscience chipping. <laughs> God, the God in you, click with the God in the Bible. And then you have a problem. So if somebody come and tell us say homosexuality is wrong, you tell them, move from us and cuss them out. But when you read it in the Bible, you're just silent. <laughs> no, serious. Serious. Amen. Richest blessings upon you, everybody. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I come in your presence to give you honor and to give you glory and to declare that you are God. I love you with every breath inside of me. And I 
pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will help me to love your people. You are a God of mercies. And you are a God of truth. And so, Father, with every breath inside of me, I give you glory, honor, and praise. And I give you everything right now in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. So we are now live. Amen. I went on the road early on, but I decided that, listen to me, class is going to keep today. There was no class Monday. Uh, I got a call. In fact, Monday. Boy, to be honest with you, things seems to be happening on Monday. But Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I shut down everything every destruction in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I'm declaring that Monday class, two Monday fan street now, Monday class will resume and we will have uninterrupted classes on Mondays in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Uh, I dream see myself without shoes and my manager to be was behind and I was the, and I was the what? And I was the team leader giving command to the team. Can you explain please? Well, that is simple. You don't need anything behind that. First thing you need to understand, shoes represent religion. So here is it that you are a child of the living God and you are the one praying on the behalf of your workplace. And so what is happening? While you are not the physical leader of the team and while you are not the physical supervisor or manager, you are the spiritual manager of that team workplace because you have two listen carefully you have two world you have a physical world and you have a spiritual world so in the spiritual world because you're there and you're using the name of jesus christ of nazareth you are the one that is presenting the physical world to the spiritual world i repeat you are the one representing the physical world to the spiritual world in other words in the physical world, you are not the manager. But in the spiritual world, because you are the one presenting. In other words, you are there, God is there. So because you are there, God is there. God is now seeing you and God is now there at the company because you are there. So while they are the manager in the physical realm, you are the manager in the spiritual realm. Why? See what you said? You said, behind the manager and i was the team leader who remember where the bible said that you are the head and not the tail so you may not be the head in the physical world but god is going to turn you in the head in the spiritual world all right so that is what um the prop um your dream mean um evangelist yeah evangelist that's what is your your dream mean all right you're welcome so while you're not the physical team leader, you're the spiritual team leader. 
And you're not doing this through religion. You're doing it because of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So God is telling you that I'm pleased because you're now presenting the company to me and you're using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All right? So while you're on duty, continue to pray on your behalf of yourself and on the behalf of the people that are there. All right? And you will be all right. Any other question, anybody? Okay, so let me search this again. Okay, so blessed evening, minister and family, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Facebook. Amen. Facebook again and Facebook again. All right, greetings to you, uh, prophetess. Prophetess uh, Sheila, you're saying favor to Minister Smith, um, to you and your wife, and the platform in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Richest blessing upon you, Prophetess Sheila. Amen. This individual is saying, Audrey, Audrey is saying, greetings, my teacher, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Greetings to you, Simone Sawyers. Greetings to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. So those are the, the things that I am seeing on Facebook. And Patricia Rose said, Amen. All right. Uh, Patricia Rose said, I pastor uh, and everyone in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So those are, and S. Watson. S. Watson said, um, S. Watson said, um, greetings, brother and sisters in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay. Samantha, Samantha Green said, blessed everyone. Blessed, blessed evening, everyone. And he said, blessed evening, yes, everyone, and Minister Smith in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All right, so let me see what is happening here. And so Winsome, Winsome Williams said, blessings, all right? So these are the individuals that I'm seeing on YouTube and Facebook. Lurleen, Lurleen Juni said, blessing, blessing, why a woman should not preach? Well, first thing you need to understand is that a woman should not preach in a man church. So first thing you need to understand, you need to ask me how much church is there. If I said that woman should not preach in a man church, how many church is there? First thing you need to understand, you need to ask yourself how many cross was there? Because each cross represents a church. So here is it that we have three cross. So we have the one on the left representing the church of Satan, the one on the right representing the church of man. So at three different churches you have. And the one in the middle representing Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We know that Jesus Christ of Nazareth died for his church. So the question we ask now, if Jesus Christ of Nazareth died for his church on the middle cross, whose church was the next two representing? And whose church was the next two and whose church was the next two dying for? I that you need to ask you now. There was three cross. So we know that Jesus Christ of Nazareth died on the middle cross. And the middle cross, amen. He died on the middle cross to redeem his church. So the question now asks is, whose church was the one on the right representing? We know that is the church of man. And whose church was the one on the left representing? We know that the church of Satan. So let us search the Bible now and find out where in the Bible we find the church of man. If you go to the um, 2 Timothy chapter um, 3 verse 5, it tells you that the church of man is full of religion and they have godly. Listen to me. They are godly. They are godly, but they are no power. You get me? That is the church of man. It is found in the book of 2 Timothy 3, 5. Having a form of godliness, but they are no power. So them very religious. That is the church of man. Amen. And then the church of Satan is found in Revelation chapter 3, verse 9. Now, the church of Satan is almost identical to the church of God. And that's the problem, you know. The church of Satan is identical to that of the church of God. And that is why in the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 24, verse 24 said, If it were possible, 
the church of Satan would have deceived us. And that is why we are so powerless today, you know, as a church, as the children of the living God. It seems as if we are powerless. And that is why God would have told me, go back and share with the people what I would have taught you. That's what he said. Go back. Share with the people what I have taught you. Because to be honest with you, you know, when I was out there, you know, church people freed. I mean, straight. When me, listen to me, right now, church people still afraid of me. I kid you not. Because I went over by Delford Davis and I tried to have an audience with him. And he asked me, so where are you going? I have to I tried to have um talk with various preachers. In fact, I went over to Portmore Prophecy Church. And when I was there trying to have a conversation, the church don't want to fix themselves, you know. The church is busy collecting tithes and offering. So when you go there and you try to disrupt that flow, everybody building, you have a drive around it, a drive around Jamaica, and everybody are expand upon them building. Nobody expanding upon the relationship with them and God, you know. Listen carefully. Nobody expanding on the relationship with them and God. Everybody a big, big, big building. Everybody want mega church. Nobody want mega relationship, you know. They want mega building. And mega building mean more people. And more people mean more tithes and offering. That's all they care about. Now, I don't have a problem if you have grand idea. And I don't have a problem if you're... No people that say a true men have no no um ambition. Well, fine. But all I am saying is very simple. If you are going to collect tithes and offering, at least give the people them the truth. That is my thing, you know. If you're going to take the people them money, at least give them the truth. So you take the money and go on with it, you know. But give the people them the truth. Now, today, I realize that they don't have the truth. And they will not give the truth to anybody because they don't know it. All right? They don't know the truth. And if you don't know the truth, what are you going to do? The Bible tells you that if you know the truth, the truth will set you free. So if you don't know the truth, then you can't give the truth because you don't know the truth. And that is what causing the problem here in Jamaica today. Well, we can't talk about Jamaica, you know. We can't talk about the world because we know, we know, we know travel the world it. But I can talk on what I see where Jamaica is concerned, all right? Here in Jamaica, we have churches per square mile, the most churches per square mile. The other day, I'm driving a Portmore, you know. Oh, my God. If you take up one stone and fling out, there's a one church today. And you take up one next stone and fling out, there's a one next church today. As far as you can fling one, one church today, the most churches may ever book up on in a, in a community, in a, in a Portmore. Good God Almighty, every... Avenue you go upon one church upon it. No, serious. Put more of the most churches in Jamaica. And then the road, as in Walton Park Road, the church that have the most churches is Walton Park Road. Because you have up at the top of Walton Park Road, you have you have the Blair up there. So. And then when you come down a little bit more, you have GG um my name G V T Williams. And when you my you mount a church where you have Pani Waltam, and you mount a church where you have a Pope more. Oh my God. When they said church is in the one, my God, and Jamaica in this state. Amen. Why are we in this state? Because our churches don't have a personal relationship with God. Everybody seems to be big, big, expanding on them building. Nobody expanding on the relationship with God. And that's what causing the problem. For those of you that are here, welcome to the program. Again, I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And if you are a first time up, welcome to the program. On this program, we talk, amen, or should I said, we share about the three Jesuses that are inside the Bible. We teach you how to do spiritual warfare on this program. On this program, we'll interpret your visions and dreams. So if you want to fight effectively, you need to pay attention to your visions and dream. I repeat, if you want to fight effectively in the realm of the spirit, you need to pay attention to your visions and dream. Paying attention to your visions and dream, you will be able to defend yourself 
and your loved ones. God, richest blessings upon you. I greet you again in the mighty name of Yahshua Amashiach of Nazareth. Amen. Okay, so richest blessings upon you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Is there any more question? Is there any more question? I dreamed that I saw a white elephant. Watch out. This individual said, I dream that a white elephant, that I dreamed that, no, I dream that I saw a white elephant idol in the church that I go. Well, I me mean, have nothing more to say. That God that speak to itself. God speaking to you. Straight. So God I talk to you straight up. I can't even explain that. Can I dream explain it to himself. God I can know say the church where you are going to belong to him. And elephant is one of the biggest things. So God I tell you, say, listen to me. This is a church. Uh, them idol is heavy before me. So that in itself, you no need no interpretation. That in itself, God tell you exactly what is going on there. Amen. Amen. Richest blessings. May his name be famous throughout Israel. Blessed be Adonai, who has not left you without, without a redeemer. Today, may his name be famous throughout Israel. Ruth chapter 4, 14. Riches, blessings. I dream that a snake is coming out of my bottom, which is good. This is a good dream because you're now going through the process of detoxing. For those of you that are here, whenever you come to God, you are going to go through a spiritual detoxing process. What do I mean by this? Uh, if anything had happened to you the prior of coming to God, now that you start to use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is like when you take wash out. All right. So here is it that you're using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is like when you're taking wash out. So anything when the body, you know, I come out, you know. All right. Anything when the body coming out. Because once you start using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, anything we're in the body are going to come out. Because the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is going to explode, ex, ex, expel, yeah, expel or expunge. All everything that is inside is going to come out. All right? So here is it that you dream that a snake was coming out of your bottom. So these are the gateway. Your ears, your eye, your mouth, your nose, and your anal. These are all gateway. Your, your skin, these are all gateway. Eh? Your mind or your brain, these are all gateway. So when you said you expel um, a snake from the bottom, it means that you would have congested something. You would have eaten something that should have not been eaten, both physically and spiritually. So oftentimes when you see snake leaving you, your body and so, it is because of the fact that you may have eaten Something where we Jamaican call tie. So somebody tie you. So God I now get rid of the tie. So you are no longer tie. There are some people nowadays, you know. Them try to force you to love them. Yes, man. So when then do I go at the artificial um, drugstore? A drugstore will be selling you know, people. For those of you that are here, you know, no say drugs will be selling a shop. The, the ingredients that people used to work will be a seller shop. The candles, the oil, and everything. Them sell on a mass drugstore, you know, and them sell at least every drugstore. Every drugstore, you go there. 
if you're growing at the back, normally around at the back them there, the practitioners them. So you, you go down there and then you tell them, say, this is what is happening to you. Them tell you what you for you, say, get them out. But people, be not deceived. These are all Obia. All right? But Obia sell a shop. Whether you believe me, yes, I know. Obia sell a shop. All right? Whether you believe me, yes, I know. Obia sell a shop. Because anytime you go at the Obia man, them always send you to the drugstore to go and buy. They always send you to the drugstore to go and buy the ingredients them that you need so that you can go perform the OBA in your own house. So them tell you if you go down at the drugstore, go buy this and go buy that. Okay, so we are now under attack. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The spirit of darkness is now, it is now 6 o'clock here in Jamaica, so the spirit of darkness is now coming to the atmosphere. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come in your presence. And so, every spirit that is coming to the atmosphere right now, that is coming to the earth, every spirit in the atmosphere right now that is coming to the earth, we take authority over them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We shut them down and we send them back to the pit of hell. Satan, you have no authority over the realms of the earth. In fact, you have no authority over me and over this platform. So, I come against you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I relinquish you of your right. I relinquish you of your power. And I rebuke you back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Good evening. I dream that a mother dog and its puppy coming towards me, not to hurt me. Uh... To be honest with you, Mr. Laban, Mr. Laban, Otis Laban, amen. First thing you need to understand, what you are seeing is a representative of your family. The dogs represent a representative of your family. It means that demons want to take away your family from you and they want to replace it. But if you understand, you say, you see the mother dog. So are the mother dog a cause the problem, you know, because the mother dog are letting the demons, you know. Listen carefully. The mother dog are letting the demons. All right, first thing you need to understand is that when you see these things, God is telling you exactly what is causing the problem. People, nobody can do you anything, you know, not even God himself can do you nothing without your permission. And so what you need to understand is that when somebody chooses to walk in the spirit of rebellion, especially when you have a woman, and when you have the woman or you have a man, and them start walking in the spirit of rebellion, it's only a matter of time, you know. You can know exactly what is going on, you know, because when a woman starts to somebody else, you know, you are going to know because they will try to get you out of the picture. All right? And so we need to understand these things. All right? So for those of you that are going through with your relationship and it is falling apart, husband and wife, your relationship falling apart, you know why? You're the problem. But you're also the solution. You're the problem because you guys are not communicating with God. And you're the problem because you guys choose not to forgive each other. And that is what causing the problem. Most of us today refuse to forgive each other. And that is what causing the problem. All right. I can tell you for a fact. All right. Marriage will work, you know. And marriage can work, you know. But it has to be an arrangement. Agreement. This is where you agree to disagree, so to speak. All right. But it can work. I dream I I dreamt I was fed with drinks with drink. Uh I dreamt that I was fed with drink. 
first thing you need to understand, all eating in your dream, except eating fruits. Fruits is different from the cooked food. Anytime you say cooked food, cooked food means that the devil wants to rob you of your future and the devil wants to bring sickness upon you. And the devil is now using cooked food to have a form of agreement. We saw this in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 4, where God said to Cain, bring a lamb and Cain bring food. Cain bring food, ground provision and food. So what happened is that whenever you see food in your visions and dream, it means that Satan want to feed you doppy food, so to speak. And the devil want to feed you in your visions and dream. And if the devil is able to feed you in your visions and dream, the devil is going to now take you out of the presence of Jehovah God. All right? So the very fact that you saw yourself drinking, you have to be extremely careful because the devil is now coming at you with an agreement. Amen? All right. Let me go and see what is happening here. Okay. Mr. Laban, pray for your family, sir. Pray for your family. Pray for your family. Win some. Win some, Daya. Win some. Yes, sir. I'm hearing you. I'm seeing S H him. What that mean? Uh, Shit made. Yeah. What that mean? This, me, me, me been telling you in the past. This is not something me, me, me really believe in. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Why you don't believe in her? What you don't believe my, in? My point is, um, you keep on saying you don't believe in them. Something here. What is it? What something you're talking about? The the the, the things them where the people them buy them drugstore and them something that where them perform with or whatever. Because feel like it's the power with the power of God. There's no way them something that can can overthrow the power and the authority. Of the Let me ask God. you one question, Wingsome. Let me ask you one question. Do you believe that there is a spirit of darkness? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you believe that there is a spirit of righteousness? Yes, sir. So one is called good and one is called evil. Yes? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Now... We know for certain that the spirit of darkness is very strong. Yes or no? The spirit of darkness is strong when we allow it. When, when You're still when not getting the picture, ma'am. You're still not getting the uh -huh. picture. Just answer what I'm asking you. Yeah, go Just on. answer what I'm asking you. The yeah. spirit of darkness is strong. Yes or no? Yes, it is strong. Okay, fine. Now, what I want people to understand is very simple. There is three set of worshippers up on the face of the earth. Uh -huh. There is three set of worshippers up on the face of the earth. May I go say it again? There is three set of worshippers up on the face of the earth. The worshipper of man. What does this mean? The, the cross on the right hand side. They worship in the church of man. The Bible said in 2 Timothy chapter 3, 5, having a form of godliness, this church is very religious. And because this church is very religious, this church sometimes operates in the grave realm and the atmosphere realm. So this church can operate both in the grave realm, which is the earthly realm, and in the atmosphere, which is the atmosphere realm. And that is why you have persons telling you that we can do 60 and 61. You ever hear people say that before? Yeah, but I use I use Athena Revival Church, that's what I'm saying. Okay. I use I use Athena Revival Church, Pastor. <clears throat> okay. 
So what I'm doing now, with um, I'm taking this opportunity to bring clarity to you and to the class. All right. Now, what I want you to understand is very simple. The cross on the left represent the church of darkness, which is the church of Satan. All right. Okay. Now, the church of Satan is a.k.a. the Catholic church. Now, whether you want to believe it, yes or no, the church of Satan is the Catholic church. When I ask you, tell me, I tell you. The church of the Catholic is the only one who come out and up right in, listen, them come out straight out and tell us that they worship the Lavatican spirit. Now, the Lavatican spirit is what we call the cynic spirit. Now, first thing you need to understand, the tree cross, we're talking about the tree cross, all right? The tree cross represents three different worshippers. Now, let us go to scripture. Uh, when me tell you no things, you know, may I make sure I go to scripture. So here is it now that the Bible tells us in 1 Peter 2 verse 9. It said we are all priests. We are all royal priesthood. And in the spirit world, every worshipper, or each cross need a spirit. Need a, need a priest. The church of Satan need a priest. The church of God need a priest. And the church of man need a priest. These are called pastors and bishops. Yeah? These are, these are pastors and bishops. Now, the pastors and bishop is not limited to those who preach on the pulpit. Because those who preach on the pulpit, listen carefully, they brainwash you, not me, you. Because they want you to believe that without them, God can't work in your life. No, me beg for differ. I don't believe that either. Me beg for differ. Because in the book of 1 Corinthians 3, verse 16, it said, All of us are the church of the living God. In other words, all of us have the capacity. Eh? Amen. To be our own. First thing, you know, we are the church. Because God live inside of we. First thing, God live inside of we. So a preacher boy can't come tell me nothing, you know. And a preacher girl can't come tell me nothing, you know. Because you know more than me. The Bible said when you know the truth, the truth set you free. And if you know Jesus Christ of Nazareth personally, then you don't need them, you know. Anybody where you love see go out them four wall building a people who don't know God, you know. Amen. And go they go find, go search for God, you know. People, when you know God, you don't have to search for God because God inside of you. Listen carefully. God inside of you. And when you start congregate in a congregating setting, the Bible said we are two or three, not just one, you know, but two or three. Yes. Gathered together, touching anything. Yeah. When he said touching anything, it means that uh, when you sit down and talk about me. It, yes. Exactly. Then I will yes. be in the midst. So church now, we don't want four wall building. Because wow. there is no way in the book of Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 going down. said, go he therefore and rent a building and stay in the four wall and then I will be there with you. He said, go he therefore to the highway and byway. And oh, when you right. go to the highway and byway, you know why they can't go to the highway and byway? If you go to the highway and byway, then you can't collect ties and offering, you know. church what we know first time people come out of the church and go seek soul Repent and come again. It's not like that anymore, Pastor. And if we look into the realm of the spirit, we will see um, this Christianity changed dramatically. Well, well, Christianity become commercial, you know. It has it has always been commercial. Yes. And that is why Jesus Christ of Nazareth came. Um, I want to take the time out to big up a, a deacon of mine, a brother of mine, Bishop. Um, I can also call him Bishop. 
Amen. Because he's a keeper of his own soul. Did you know that you are the keeper of your own soul? Nobody I know, know your bishop, you know. Are you are your own bishop? What is bishop? What is the word bishop? Bishop means keeper of soul. And the only person can keep your soul is you. You never know that. Not even, listen to me. Not even God can keep your soul. Let me explain why I said this. The Bible said in Revelation 3 verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. Means that God not in control of you, you know, until you give him control. You get me? So you need to understand, say, the only person can destroy you is you. So the only person can destroy you is you. Listen carefully. The reason why I say this is because I saw my bishop here. We grow together in the realm of the spirit. He's a little bit older than I am. But Bishop um, Winston Fritt is a, is a good man. Trust me. When I said a good man, a good man. And what happened is that we were... The church that I first started out, I in a theme church. But what I can't understand is the church people. Church people are why you never sit in. Church people don't, you, you see, we don't glad for each other. So here is it that, here is it that we all grew up in the church and he served well, you know. He served well. Let me not go there, but he served well in the church. And would you know that you did not, you know, if you, 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 you serve well and everything and all you can be are just brother and deacon, you can be pastor. Why you can't be pastor? Because them always have them friends with them all put at the front of the line. You know, Christian, I'm telling you, Christian is different than now. Now we're a pastor. That me I try to show you. I am something to know that I'm on, I'm, I am on your live. Yes. I attend, I attend a church. I don't want to be specific, right? You don't have to. You don't have to. This is a church of God. Yes. Okay. And I, what I notice, it's operating like a revival church. Because as I stated earlier. I am from a revival. They are fasting every Wednesday. When I was in the revival church, I remember one day clearly, I hear the voice that come out from among them and he is separate. You understand? And believe me, Pastor, when I opened the Bible, that was the exact verse. So I know that it was the Spirit of God that was speaking. All right. I am I am now at a church where they flick out against revival people. And them have fasting on Wednesdays and this hungry we're born like a Ima 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 year from God or whatever. I, I don't know what is wrong with this hungry. But listen, the man I will tell the people them say they must take out every teddy bear and every um every figure out of them also got demon in it. Oh figure oh demon in my teddy bear and my figure them. I mean I worship them. First thing you need to understand if I know anything about demons you see, when they watch too much Hollywood movie, and that's the problem, you know. Demons live in, listen carefully, demons live in flesh. People, demons live in flesh. So demons live in flesh. Whether the flesh is alive or the flesh dead, demons live in flesh. Demons not live in an object. I repeat, demons not live in an object. Demons live in a flesh. The reason why I say this is because when a demons... Anyway, you see dead body with a dead animal, demons is there. Okay. Now, according to Hollywood, Hollywood would want you to understand that a demons will go into an object. People, demons don't go in an object. People, demons go into body. I don't know why. Listen carefully. A demons will stay into, will use the dead body as a gateway to enter the, this world. And then it stays there until it finds a soul that is wasted. So the dead body is a gateway for the spirit to come into the world. Because every spirit needs a body to enter. That's why the spirit was able to use the body of the serpent. Now the body of the serpent not necessarily mean that it was a snake. You need to understand this. You know? The body of the serpent can mean you and I. But it's our nature that makes the difference because our nature is that of a snake, crafty and vindictive. Did you know that a serpent, a, you see, a serpent, you know, a literal serpent, which is a snake, will lie down stationary in a position 
for months upon months just to empty its stomach to eat the next prey. Yeah. This is when we care vengeance in our heart. Okay. And yeah, some people care vengeance in them heart how much years upon years. Yeah. Now let it go. Unforgiveness. Yeah. That is a serpent behavior. Refusing to let go and just waiting yeah. for a particular time to just snap. Now, I remember when somebody did me something wrong sometimes ago. And I tell the person in my spirit, I tell myself that I forgive the person. So you ever tell yourself, say, forgive somebody, and when the person do you something, you was like, oh my God, I thought all of a sudden the anger come up in you for the person. Yes. Listen carefully. Yes. You in a in a yourself, you know, forgive the person, you know, yes. but your spirit did not let go. You're f listen carefully. It happened. It happened. You tell the person, say, listen to me, I forgive you and I let you go. Yeah. And when the person rub you, you're like hungry with the person. And then you have to go back to God and say, God, I thought I had forgiven Brother Smith. I thought I had forgiven Winsome. Please, God, help me to let her go. Because if you don't help me to let her go, my spirit is going to continue to hate her. Listen carefully. Now, picture this. Psalms 51. David said, Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Why? Right. Listen carefully. I want to know to understand this, you know. Where spirit is rebellious, you know. Yes. You ever go to bed it in a good mood and you go to bed praising God and all of a sudden your spirit in your dream I sell you out. I repeat, you ever go bed and praise God and everything and pray and everything. And when you go a bed, your spirit is inside the bed now. And when your body asleep, people, listen carefully. Me can tell you, I come from the dark world where me used to summon demons. And me used to summon spirit. And me used to use 60 and 61 spirit. I kid you not. See me deacon here, deacon Fritz. He can tell you. Them man you understand the realm of the spirit, you know. So him can tell you what me are talking about. Demons are real. Them man you understand the realm of the spirit. So I know exactly what I'm talking about. People, demons are real. And demons are only afraid of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because when me used to work, Obia, you know, me used to use the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ for some of the demons. Them. Because the demons, they are very religious. Super religious. Pastor. Yes. Can I ask that question? Okay. Go ahead. All right. Um, I am I am I am living in a community where I see that people rather darkness more than light. To be honest, it's more darkness here, more than light. So you you so you pick and you choose what to do and what not to do and, and who to associate yourself with. Yes. And I am a neighbor. I come here seeing her worshiping God and praising God. I look up to her hundred percent at the time. Yes. And all of a sudden, you know, neighbor and neighbor break away, right? But um, we were running like a pardon and we go a far away. But anyway, we weren't speaking. She come back to me and she asked me to forgive her and whatever. But somehow, I say I forgive her, yes. But there was something that said to me, the set, the still very yard and said, and and the set. If I forgive you, but I do not want you to ever to pass back my pathway because the Bible, the Bible tells you, call food, but you know, keep them, right? And what happened? I, I have a car and I have a driveway, but the way is very like small, so we share the same gateway, um, basically. And I parked my car and I and I was here waiting on my son to open the grill, and by the time I looked through my camera. I saw the girl going around my car, chanting. Going around the car, chanting. Remember, this was the same person who come to me and tell me they must forgive her, you know. And the girl go around the car and chant because the car was parking there. Did you know? Did you know? Mm -hmm. That your enemy cannot hurt you. I know. Because your enemy is one that is afar off. You know, I don't fear my enemy. Not at all. 
David said, if it was an enemy, I would have borne it. But I'm here, you take the Lord communion together. You, know? you see the woman we, we teach with spirituality? Her name is Hernandez. Bishop Williams and Hernandez. And Sister Hernandez always tell you, pig of our own soul. Pig, when she said pig of our own soul, what it means is that, listen to me, it means that me and you eat together the Lord communion. So the, the revival terms is pig of your own soul. In other words, the two we are pig and the two we eat together in a one trough. So how is unhurt? You are trying to hope me. And that is why you see she tried to friend you because as enemy, she could not never come near said you. But as friend, you now let her in. She can stab you from the back. Yes, and she never get the opportunity. So it, it, it upset her. This is what I'm going to say to you. The Lord tell me. Listen carefully. You know, say God keep malice. Yes, sir. Okay. For those of you that are here, who know my thing say God not keep malice, but that is a lie from the bitter hell. The Bible said, Esau I hate and Jacob I love. That's all like a malice, don't. What I want you to understand is very simple. This is what God said. I hate the very presence of evil, but I love the individual. So while I will love you, I will love you from a distance, you know. So when you hear me say, I forgive you, that I mean to say, I'm going to lap frack till with you and come tell you about my business, you know. I, I love you and I've listen to me. I forgive you and I stay distant from you because you're venomous. Didn't you know that God tell Abraham, forgive your father, but don't stay beside him? Yes. I want to bless you, Abraham, but do not stay beside your father because you're beside your father and I cannot bless you beside your father because your father is cursed. So while God will tell you, say, forgive the individual, he never tell yourself, go. Pray back bed with the individual in our but lap from till with the individual in He tell you to let that go the individual, forgive the individual. Why? I know for the individual sake, you know, I feel your sake. Yeah, because ears, ears are going to pass that. I used to drink some wedding in my room, you know. Yes. Ears are going, and, and, and I get it about five times consecutive, and somebody said to me, Winsome, that is separation. That woman is digging a ditch for you. When I, when, I, when I just started building my house, I went to Guantanamo Bay. And when I came back, my husband told me that he found a phone. That is from, from the husband in our foundation. Yes. And I did make an phone. And, and you ever see my fence? My fence is about seven feet tall. You hear? Yes. And the man, the man finds himself in the foundation. I don't know what he did, but whatever I did, Pastor. It is there, I'm a tell you, tell God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to pull it out. That's why they cannot turn me from a belief too much. I am 100% in for God. One thing I want you to understand is very simple. Listen carefully. When you say you don't believe that these things are real or these things are true, you're actually undermining your own. I'm not saying, listen carefully. For those of you that are here, listen carefully. If you're saying that the power of God is more um, powerful than the spirit of darkness, all hail for that because that is true. Because I was in the pit of darkness and then when I came out and I know the true power, people, me used to work with fallen angel, straight. Me used to work with the grave rim, straight, what we call Duppy. We used to work with what we call the marine kingdom. Huh? So the grave rim, marine kingdom. So the earthbound, it is called earthbound demons. And the earthbound demons is found in the book of Genesis chapter 1, 26. It said, God said, I am going to create you in my own image. So that means that we are God of the earth. We are the spirit of God in the earth. If you allow God to use you. All right, Genesis 1, 26. It said, I am going to create you in my image. Listen carefully. God no have flesh. So if him say more creating his image, that means you're spiritual. People, you are first spiritual, then physical. You know what is our problem? We are living in the physical world and try to be spiritual. We need to understand that we are spiritual and then we must try to be physical. Not this. Listen carefully. Here is where we go wrong. 
we are living physical and trying to be spiritual when we should be living spiritual and then try to live physical. What do I mean by this? Let me explain. When you embrace your spirituality, you're embracing the God inside of you. And you're now saying that spirit is in control and the flesh have no power. Whenever you try to live in the physical, you give the flesh too much power and the spirit is now dying. That's why Paul said, each time when I choose to do good, evil presents itself. So we need to understand these things. You have to first embrace your spirituality so that you can kill your flesh. Amen? Amen. Now, the reason why I say this is because I want you to understand what you're saying is the truth. The spirit of darkness have a limitation. But one, I, one thing I want you to understand, do not underestimate the spirit of darkness. Never you underestimate the spirit of darkness. Jesus Christ of Nazareth never did it. You should not do it as well. Huh? And one thing I want you to understand is that Satan knows he's right. The only person who doesn't know them right are those who go to church. Children who call themselves children of God. Now, there's three types of worshippers. For those of you that are here, anybody will worship with olive oil and water. When you worship with olive oil, you're worshiping fallen angel. When you worship with water, you're worshiping the grave rim and the marine kingdom. I repeat, when you worship with olive oil, you're worshiping the grave, the um, the fallen angel. And when you worship the word with water, you and salt and all these elements, you're worshiping the grave rim. Now, the true worshiper should worship using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And this is found in Acts chapter 3, 6, when Peter said, silver and gold have I none. So let us go back to the tree cross. So here is it that we have the tree cross. The cross on the left, worship with olive oil. The cross on the right, worship with water. I repeat, the cross on the left worship with olive oil, and the cross on the right worship with water. The cross on the left is called 60, and the cross on the right is called 61. I repeat, the cross on the left is called 60, then worship with fallen angel, and the cross on the right is called 61. Now, the fallen angel, listen carefully, they are more powerful in the realms of the spirit than mankind. So here is it that we have three church. The three cross represent three church. Do you have a Bible with you, Winsome? Yes, I do. Father. For those of you that are here, let me explain and show you in Bible. Winsome, I want you to go to St. John chapter 19 for me, please. We're going to find the three churches then. St. John chapter 19, and you're going to read from the 18th verse. For those of you that are here, welcome to the platform. Share the program. Amen. That is all I ask. Welcome, Pastor. Let me, let me, let me say it last yes. Um, this individual said, I really want to hear my vision, uh, my dreaming of white goat. First thing you need to understand, the Bible tells you, that we are the children of the living God. And as children of the living God, we are called sheep. So anything where you say as goat, you know, it's a rebelliousness. Listen to me. At the spirit of darkness that. So if your dream say white goat, I don't see the dream where you say sweet tea. You say the dream say white goat. If I tell, if you say your dream say white goat, goat mean the Bafemi spirit. The Bafemi spirit is coming from the rebellious spirit. All right? We are called to be, that is why Jesus of Nazareth is called the Lamb of God. Anything in a goat means disobedience. So you are, you're a prophet, you know, so you can, if I give you the meaning of the, what the goat means, then you can now interpret your own dream. All right? What is it that you saw the goat doing? So you go ahead and interpret your own dream. It's the spirit of darkness. The spirit of, listen carefully. One thing I want you to understand, a sheep, a sheep cannot see far than, listen to me, I think about six in, six feet from them face. A sheep can see. You see a goat? A goat can see a mile away. A sheep cannot see as far as, so the sheep depend on the, 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 um, the shepherd to lead them. Because if not, them drop in a hole. The goat, 
Wow, clever. No, there is. John, John 1? No, man. John chapter 19. John chapter 19, and we're going to read from the verse um, verse 14. Read from verse 14 and see what happened. You put down your glass? John 3, Mr. John 4, John 5, and then Mr. John over here, so. Open us, John 19. Open down the glasses. Wow, I have. I have John. I have John. Yes, 18. Yes, 18. No, Mr. John 4. No, I'm going to tell you what John made. No, man. St. John, Mr. You have first and second John, you know. You have St. John, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's why I say St. John. You know what I never say first John or second John. You have first John and second John. And then you have St. John. That's why I use the term second um um St. John as in to describe um the um yeah. Nine. All right, John 19. Yeah. Um, verse 1? Verse um, 14. Read from verse 14. Verse 14. 14. Yeah. And, and, and it was the preparation of the Passover and about the six hours. And, and he said unto the Jews, Behold, your king. But they cried out away with him. Away with no, listen him. carefully. Listen carefully what he said. Listen carefully what he said. It was now the Passover. Yes, sir. Okay. Did you know that the Passover is also considered to be a Sabbath? A Sabbath? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Now, first thing we need to understand, for those individuals who call themselves Seventh-day Adventists, they will tell you, you have different, different Passover. And Passover means a day of rest. You have, you have Holy, Thir um, Holy Sabbath. Yeah, you have the Passover. The Passover is said to believe to be the time when Moses was in Egypt and they would have slayed the lamb and the, the, the blood was put up on the, ment, um, the lentil and Jesus was now ordained to be the door. That was when Jesus became the door, you know. Who remember when Moses took the blood and put up on the door? Lab? That is when Jesus became the spiritual door. Huh? Exactly. That is when Jesus now becomes the spiritual door in the physical realm. He was always the light, but that is when he became the door. And that is why when he came here in John chapter, um, the same John here, chapter um, 14, verse 6, he said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. In other words, I am the way. I am the doorway to God. So he was speaking back about in the book of Exodus when they would have put the lamb blood on the door. And that's why he said, I am the doorway that the blood of the lamb. Eh? So when I see the blood, I'll pass over you. All right. So the reason why I say this is because I want you to understand. Listen carefully. I want you to understand. Without Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are all lost. Straight. So here is it now that God is saying that. Listen carefully. Read verse 14. Passover and about the six hours. Now listen carefully. Listen carefully. Who remember when it was the preparation of the six hour in the time of Egypt when God said, Listen to me, Moses, the dead angel is going to pass. So you kill the lamb and you put it over the, the door mantle. Right. This is what was going to happen. The dead angel was now going to pass. Did you know that every Wednesday night the dead angel passed through? The blood is over your lamb. Listen carefully. What I want people to understand is very simple. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. Listen to me. We need to understand spirituality. The Bible said that they said to, it was a, um, read it. Come in and talk me one thing. Read what he said. Um, verse 14 again. Yes. And, and it was the preparation. And it was the preparation of the what? Of the Passover. 
Okay? Okay. When he said pass over, people, it means that we are now going to close the Old Testament and go over into the New Testament. This is what it means. This is what it means. We are going to pass over. In other words, we are going to do Exodus. We are going to leave Genesis and we are going to Exodus. Exodus means movement. We are going to move from Genesis to Exodus. Huh? Exodus means movement. Why Wednesday? Well, first thing you need to understand is very simple. Wednesday is the middle of the week. Where is Jesus Christ of Nazareth? In the middle of the garden. So Wednesday determine everything, you know. You never know that. Wednesday is the middle of the garden. Wednesday determine every day. Listen to me. You have seven days a week. Now say go. Uh -huh. And if it start Monday, if it start every day, start Sunday according to what we believe. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. This is the, this is what is called the neutral day. And then Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday. So we have three day upon one and three day upon one. And we neutral Thursday, Wednesday. People, listen carefully. If I was to do the Passover, did you know, say, if I was keeping the Sabbath, the Sabbath would be my Wednesday? Of course. No one keeps when um, Sabbath upon Saturday. My Sabbath would be the Wednesday, right over the Passover. And let me tell you why. First thing you need to understand, the Wednesday is a rest day. The Passover, listen carefully, the Passover was a rest day. Listen carefully, the Passover was a rest day. We tend to believe, you see, same like how we were tricked to believe that December is the time when Christ born. People, the Bible said that they were collecting tax when Christ born. Yes or no? Okay, so if they were collecting tax when Christ born in a Jamaica, when did they when them talk about tax in the end of March to April? Okay, fine. So when did Christ born the end of March to April? You see the day when they call all full day, you see the day when they call all full day for those of you that are here, the day when they call all full day that is the day when Christ was born here. Yeah? That is the day when Christ was born. The first day of April. That's why they call it All Fool Day. Come a fool all around on that day. And we walk around like a he that at about All Fool Day, All Fool Day. Of course, because that the day them fool us. Because them tell us they are weary in a December in barn. Who are going to sit down in a coal? Who are going to sit down in a coal and feed any farmer animal? We lock up animal in a barn them time day. And when the first, listen carefully, the day that they, you see the Catholic Church? I tell them, say the Catholic Church are the problem. I tell you, the Catholic Church of the problem. The day where Uno call all full day, that is the day when Christ was born. The Catholic Church know exactly what they are doing. Of course. End of year. End of year. Exactly. Exactly. Now, the reason why I, I, I want you to read this now and to do this is because I want you to understand. So we are now moving from Genesis and we are now leaving Genesis and we're going to go in Exodus. People, Exodus, movement of the people, that's why it is called Exodus. Genesis means beginning, Exodus means moving away from your sin and coming over. So, Now, one thing I want you to understand is very simple. Let us go back to scripture. Come in our in a holy but talk, talk, talk. A scripture talk on here, so. Back with what we call the Holy Spirit, our common sense. What is the Holy Spirit, my sister? In a Jamaican term, what is the Holy Spirit? All right, let me say it in a more simpler form. How would you describe the Holy Spirit in a Jamaican terms? In a Jamaican terms, how would you describe the Holy Spirit? I don't know how I would have described it in a Jamaican term. Jamaican you want help? You want, you want help? 
yes, yes, go ahead. In a Jamaican term, the simplest form as a nutshell to describe, the simplest form to describe the Holy Spirit is common sense. Okay. Your sixth sense. Yes, so, the sixth sense, sixth sense. You call it sixth sense? Well, that is called the Holy Spirit. Don't make nobody fool you. Know. Listen carefully. The sixth sense, where you call sixth sense, is what is called the Holy Spirit. It's called the spirit of divination. The spirit where always a question where you do. Right. right. That's the Holy Spirit. Don't make nobody tell you foolishness. The Holy Spirit, yeah. listen carefully. Some people make it look like the Holy Spirit live upon the shoulder yeah. or the shoulder yeah. And one darkness over us and the next one over us. Like some cartoon thing. Do that. No, 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 no. Don't do that. No, no. Uh, you never watch cartoon it and see it. You see one white sitting over us. And one over us. One, one black sitting with one fuck and red. And, uh, listen to me. I know say it is. The battlefield is your mind. Yeah, my, your mind. Yeah. Let us go to Bible. 15. Verse 15. What is it? What 15? John 15? Yes, man. No man, not John chapter 15. You're reading verse 15 now. Oh, this is the 19. Okay, verse yes. 15. But but they but they cried out away with him. Away with him. Crucify him. Yes. I want you to scan through the scripture for me. I want you to scan through the scripture for me. And I want you to show me that we, they were saying that one was on the left and one was on the right. Can you scan through it and see that? Look. Yes, look about verse 18. What is it? Verse, verse 18 says, where, where they crucify him and two other with him. Ah, right there, sir. And two other with him. Where they crucify him and two other with him. Now, common sense people. Let us go to question. If Christ was there, why was there two other cross beside him? Do you know what? Why there were two other cross beside him? The two, because two persons were supposed to be crucified with him. No. What does it mean spiritually? There is a spiritual meaning to everything in the Bible. What? Listen carefully. God is a spirit, right? Eh? And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So there is two type of... Listen to me. Anytime God talks to you in the physical realm, he talks to you in the spiritual realm as well. All right? Now, the reason why I say this is because whenever you see something in the physical realm, people, it have meaning in the spiritual realm. So here is it that we have two cross. Why did we have two other additional cross? Let me explain. If you go to Matthew chapter 21, um, verse... Matthew chapter 21, verse... Um, 13, where Jesus Christ of Nazareth, on entering Jerusalem, he turned to them and said, get out of my church. He said, my house shall be called the house of prayer and you have made it a den of thieves. Now, through biblical history, God gave mankind the church so that mankind could now communicate with him in the realm of the spirit. So the church was supposed to be a central point you just you know, like have a police station come in base, come in base, and then the base would now send out and dispatch. So you have a central point, which is the church, and the church now dispatch the message that God would have communicated to the church, just like a radio station. So here is it that the, the, the radio station would have hear from heaven, eh? Transmit the message from heaven, come to the radio station, and then you turn on the radio and then you hear the same message over the radio station. This is what the church are supposed to be. But you know what happened? The this jockey them start playing them own version of music. You notice? No. So when you turn on your radio nowadays, you have to wonder if a dance hall you're there or at the national radio are play. Girl skin out pan this and girl skin out pan that. When in the 80s, them are sitting never used to go on. No? If you want to hear certain music, you got to dance all our club, go hear that. Them had this jockey nowadays, no had nothing about them. Girls skin out this and skin out that. Especially on Saturdays, when you hear the this jockey them, you have to wonder if I, if I the national radio, them depend. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. 
Now, the reason why I say this is because this is what the radio station should have done. The radio station should uphold morality, but the radio station break down everything. Well, that's the same thing with the church. The church should uphold morality, but the church is now doing immorality. Why? Because when the message comes from God, it is now being tampered with because we have different, different radio stations. If you watch in the realm of the spirit now, when you, when you are in a church, yes, and you have to when the first when you go into a church, you have to pray for the person who sit beside you, behind you, in front of you, because you don't know what kind of spirit they are carrying. And because when you are when you are in a church now, and the person preach, like they would say, um, John one, and and, and and they would read, and he came bearing his cross, and he might debate on the cross. Then they want hear about the cross. People that want to hear them spirit that want to hear about the cross and, and, and repentance. The demons in them won't allow it. Yes, what people want to hear now are how them get how them all get rich and how them neighbor cover them and, and them can't find one pair of shoes. And those are the things that people going out for them they not walk and in a garden. No, it did no, if you go to Bible, then you can have a um you can understand this because the Bible tells you in um Timothy, as in um first Timothy. No, in a yeah, first Timothy chapter, no, second Timothy chapter five, no, second Timothy three, verse one. It said, In the last day, perilous time will come. And so man will become lovers of themselves rather than the love of God. And so that is one of the reasons why we you see, first thing, nobody now is suffering at this world, you know. If we were our brother's keeper, did you know that nobody have to suffer? Jesus. Selfishness that causes the problem, you know. Because here is it that here our selfishness come in now. We are storing up things for 30 years from now. And you don't know if you have only five minutes. Right. We don't know. Right. We don't know. We don't know when they're not carrying us. You get me? So the food we are storing for, for 30 years should I feed somebody now? Yeah. That is the problem, you know. The food we should have eat now, we're saving it up for 30 years from now. Are you not sure so you're going to live for 30 years from now? The Bible said you should live a day at a time. No, sir. I know everybody are going to go with me and sister. Some people are going to live for the past. If you're saying that we're all going to die one day, I, I, I am in um, agreement with you. But did you know that all of us are going to see God, but I know all of us are going to go home with him? Right, I know that. Okay, so I just want to point out that. Because you have some people today I live any any oh and believe so them can go see God's face and go live with God. You will be seeing his face, you know, but you're not gonna live with him. Be it known. Because the Bible already tells us that in when the second when the when the second did come, the pit of hell is going to open. People, the pit of hell, the bottomless pit is going to open. And they who have been their name has not been found inside the book will be cast into the lake of fire. Now, what I want to point out is the tree cross. I want to focus on the tree cross. People, the tree cross mean everything. If you can understand the tree cross, you can understand everything. First thing you need to understand is very simple. The tree cross, that's the problem, you know. The tree cross, if you have tree cross, it means you have tree Jesus. What do I mean by this? Because Jesus of Nazareth was placed on the middle cross. So which one of the Jesus was placed on the left hand side? This Jesus was called Bar Jesus. Bar Jesus is found in Acts chapter 13. People, do not look at this flesh. Look at the spirit. So the spirit of Bar Jesus was placed. The spirit of Bar Jesus today is the spirit of disobedient. Bar Jesus was placed. Listen carefully, people. Bar Jesus was placed on the left hand side of the cross. Huh? That's where bar Jesus. When they hear bar Jesus, bar Jesus means spirit of rebellion. Don't get it wrong. So we have a spirit that represents rebellion, and this spirit is called bar Jesus. And then we have a Jesus that is called Jesus Justus. And this Jesus represented the spirit of man in the spirit of pride. You get me? Pride. 
pride. Listen carefully. So Satan's two greatest weapon that he used against us is what we call pride, self-pride. Or should I say pompous pride? My wife would have said there's two types of pride. Because you have pride where you have pride in yourself. Because you're not supposed to walk on road and stink. And you're not supposed to walk a big when you can go work. So that is pride. That is ambitious pride. But when you have pompous pride is when nobody can tell you nothing. So you're wrong. Nobody can tell me nothing. Because I never wrong it. I never wrong it. So I have the Holy Ghost to teach me. So you can't tell me nothing. Because I'm always right. Well, that is bullshit. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. Because first thing you need to understand, all of us hear from God. And so me come up here and me give you information. I may swear to me right. And then God talk to your spirit and point it out to you say me wrong. When God do that now, you now need to come to me. Because we not see it with David and Nathan. When David thought that he was right and because he was God's um, favorite one, he thought he was untouchable. But let me tell you something what I know about God. You see, anytime you sin, God makes sure to talk to you first, you know. Anytime you sin, God talk to you first. Anytime God gets mad, it's not the picture because you're not here with us. And anytime you see God show you up, and when you're, you're about to dead, because the spirit of darkness is ready to kill you. Yes. I don't ask you not to tell me, I tell you, people, I want to me know with God, you know. Anytime you sin, 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 and your sin become a secret. Anytime your sin get open, a true God has saved you from the devil, not kill your shit. So you just go through your shaming. Huh? TD Jakes going through film shaming now. Why? Because God exposed him. You somebody to expose him so that he can now humble himself and come back in repentance to me. Because he was self destructing, you know. That is where pompous pride comes in. That is where pompous pride comes in. That is where pompous pride comes in. And you know why he can't own it? He can't own it because he doesn't know God. For those of you who want to go back to the place where you find God, hold up your hand. Just say Amen. For those of you who want to go back to the place where you find God, where you, when you just find God, who remember that day when you just find God? So say amen. And let me tell you how you go back to that place. Let me tell you how do you go back to that place. Reader, Winsome, I want you to go to 1 Peter 4 for me. 1 Peter. First Peter 5, verse 5. First Peter. For those of you who want to go back to the place where you first met Jesus, this is how you go back to the place. All of us make mistakes, you know. The question is not who stole your heart, you know. Paul, this is a beautiful statement, but the question is not who stole your art, you know. The question is who do you sell your art? Nobody has stole your art, or who you sell your art to? Are you sell out, you know? And I mean sell out. The question, who did we sell our art to? First Peter 5, Pastor. First Peter 5, verse 5. This is what we need to do. Likewise, he held you what youngster. Helder. He held us. Here is where we're having a problem. It said, likewise. Do you know what is the problem? Listen to me. One of the hardest things in a life, you know, is for appearance telling the fitness of them wrong and I beg them forgiveness. Listen to me. It's only a genuine parents do that, you know. And here is it that God is saying, the only way you can be in a my space, it said, listen to me, don't always try to be the parents. This time you need to be 
the, 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 the child. So likewise, e parents be like the child. Read what he said. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourself unto the elder. Okay, so here is it. Here is it that God is telling you as a parents, you must submit your listen carefully. As a parents, listen carefully. As a parents, the child must submit to you first. That's what God said. So this is come both physically and spiritual. So God is saying, as parents, the child is expected to be subjected to you. Amen. Huh? In the Lord. In the Lord. Now, here is where we have a problem. Here is what we have a problem. All of us want people to submit to us. But nobody wants to submit back. Pastor, yes. I just talk about being very bright. I was that, I was that winsome once. Yes. Wherefore, when I speak, I think that my children should move immediately. Even when they become, become adults. I, I go with two children of my own. I go about 20 and otherwise. Yes. But I am always having this anger over over everything if, if they don't do something right. I know one day I was in my house and I, I get angry at my daughter and she did and my daughter move out. And when she moved out, that is when I sit back and there was like a my inner spirit that's begin to you know to teach me yes. I said, there are things you have to humble yourself and and give them a chance to, to speak if you go to galatian if you go to the book of galatian chapter six it yes. tell you what it tell you Galatian chapter, um, not Galatian, Ephesians chapter 6, sorry. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1. If you go there, what does it tell you in Ephesians chapter 6? I don't want to be jumping about the place, you know, but I want to, I want you to, to understand this. All right? I want you to understand this. I want you to understand this. In, 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 in Ephesians, you don't have to go there, but in Ephesians chapter um, 6 verse 1, it said, children obey your parents in the Lord. And when it go down more, it said, listen to me, but do not provoke your children them to Ross. To Ross. Jamaican talk. Do not provoke them to Ross. R-A-S-S. Do not provoke them to Ross. <laughs> That's what the Bible said. He said, children obey, but the children should only obey you if it is concerning the good things in the Lord. That's what he said. That's what he said. All right? Now, yes. what we need to understand, let us go back now to 1 Peter 5, verse 5. Yes, 1 Peter 5. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourself unto the so it is saying, children, submit yourself to your elders. So when they are spiritual um, children, you must submit yourself to the elders. The elders mean to something. All right? R-A-S-S, Paul. Leave me alone. Me a Jamaican. R-A-S-S. <laughs> Paul, you are overseeing me a Jamaican. <laughs> Pronunciation, Paul. <laughs> to Ross. <laughs> Amen. Which is right. Which is understandable, Paul. Now, what I want to point out is that the Bible tells us, listen carefully, listen carefully what the Bible said. The Bible said that the, the children is expected to submit themselves. But here which part the problem comes in now. Read the next verse, chapter. Um, the next um paragraph. Next likewise, paragraph. likewise. Ah, this is where we have a problem. Likewise, TD Jakes, submit yourself to yourself unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another. Okay, fine. So me subjected to you, you subject to me, because none of us is more than each other. That's what the Bible is telling you. Listen to me. The Bible is telling you that none of us is better than each other. That's what the Bible is telling us. And before God, we are neither male nor female. So humble your damn self and stop to listen to me. And that is why I tell people all the while, you know, this is what we do here on the platform. When we come on the platform, we share with you. You notice me, not, me, me try always to, to avoid the word teach. I said, I share with you how you can become your own spiritual leader, your own spiritual teacher, your own spiritual pastor, your own church, because you are the church of the living God. Listen carefully. For those of you who are walking up building for go worship, you know, pastor, I love your platform, but me just love Sunday worship. 
Well, you can go and worship in a Sunday. But the question I know ask is very simple. If you worship Sunday, why coming back here Monday? That's what I'm going to ask. If you can't spend Sunday with me, because you have to go worship with your church, why come back here Monday, come serve? So where you go, they go do? Where you go, they go do? Go make nice? Seriously, no, serious. No, serious. No, serious. Where you go, they go? Go run up and down and make nice? No, sometimes you just sit down. I'm going to get back home and, and, and come up here. I come sit down and read the Bible and pray. It's, not, it's, it's like, I feel like that even among most people with their church. Now, maybe most of you are a person still in the church of God who really hunger and thirst of a righteousness. The hungry and thirst of a righteousness. But if you hungry and thirst of a righteousness and not being fed, does that make sense? Okay, fine. So let us go to church and we make all kind of nice. To whom and to what? <laughs> I'm just asking these questions. It's true, it's true. For those of you that are here, listen carefully what I know for a fact. You see, anytime you start worship, anytime you start sing a song, anytime you're in a worship mood, immediately the realm of the spirit open. And as soon as the realm of the spirit open, Satan presents himself. And if you do not separate the realm of the spirit, Satan take over. We saw it in the book of Job, where the sons of God was keeping church. And all of a sudden, Satan take over. And I talk to God in through the church. And God said, then no man kind of keep service. Then how you talk to me? Satan said, then, then no man can introduce me down here. You see why me tell you so the church was supposed to be a central point, And we allow the devil to walk in. Huh? Self allow the devil to walk in, and because the devil walk in, the devil now I distribute as jockey. W listen to me. If me have a radio station, you know, and me have a radio station, and me a child of God, you think any any this jockey can complete any anything for my radio station? All when you say it a holy crowd, listen to me. That is not the crowd I want. We're talking about um. We're talking about the radio station that is reaching people's bedroom and people have them five-year-old picnic in there and them six-year-old and them are here. And I know like, yeah, beep out nothing. One day me here, one sitting straight. I said, skin out. And, and I'm like, what the hell? I mean, I said, okay. Me turn to the driver and I said, I want to bust me the depot. I said, driver, I want, I want music happy at the radio station. That driver said, the radio station. And I'm like, oh my God, we gone, we gone, we gone, we gone. Which Simit? Kevin Simit? You mean Kevin Simit? Yes. Kevin, Kevin dead, you know, in the flesh, you know. But the, the spirit of Kevin is still here. Because the spirit of Kevin is always going to be here. What is the spirit of Kevin? The spirit of Kevin is called disobedient. People, that spirit not going away nowhere. Listen carefully. The spirit take on persona. Did you know that the spirit, when the spirit left, the spirit left prematurely. Why did the spirit left prematurely? Because Kevin was going to expose some people. So the peep, the spirit have to take with a, get rid of Kevin. Cause you know I expose some people. You see, everybody with Kevin the link with uh, now bear the spirit of Kevin. Let me get this straight. You see the boy we then call the one year boy. When he Watson, sniper prophet, sniper prophet. Listen carefully. Don't take him as I that you see there. Him understand spiritual work. So what Sniper Prophet did is go down to Mobile. Why did he went down to Mobile? Claiming that God sent him down there to revive back the lost sheep of Kevin. Why do you think he went doing that? Smart boy. So when I say smart boy, smart boy. When I say smart boy, let me tell you. When he went down there, if you understand what happened, him smart till him outsmart yourself. Did you know that you can smart till you outsmart yourself? Yeah, true. Okay. So when he went down there, when he went down there, listen carefully. Uh, this is where the spirit of 
Satan come in and the spirit of what we call craftiness comes in. When he went down there, he went down there and said that God tell him to go down there and to now collect this lost soul of um, sheep of Kevin. Why did he went down there and do that? He was now going to build on the foundation that Kevin would have left and continue. So here is it that this, the spirit did not select him, you know. The spirit did not select him, you know. The spirit did not select him, you know. If the spirit did select him, then the members down there would have accepted him. But when he go down there, he was voluntarily service to the spirit realm. But one thing me notice with Satan, no, it is entire volunteer yourself to Satan. Satan, no one, you know, you know who Satan want? Those who play hard to get. You living for God and trying your best to live for God, and you sit and come after. But when you voluntarily I give Satan your service, him no want it. You're easy to sell out. This individual said, this individual said, Roy Del Rowe beat him to hit. Well, so true. So true. Because the biggest thing in Jamaica right now is Roy Del Rowe. But did you know that you have people in here bigger than Roy Del Rowe, spiritually? Let me give you some people that is bigger than Roy Del Rowe. First thing you need to understand, do not take the Catholic Church them simple. You see them there. Never you take them simple. And the next church that you should not take simple is the universal church. Do not ever take the universal church simple. Listen carefully. The universal church, as in the, un the red bird church. Never you take that church simple. So here is the church that you should avoid. The Catholic church, the universal church, the rapid church. These are the church that you should avoid. Now, the reason why I say this is because these are the church that outrightly would have go against the teaching of God. But guess which church now, me, Freda? Freda, the church of God, no, no. The one who call himself church of God, a them, me, Freda, no. Eh? The one them we call himself church of God, a them, me, Freda, no. A demi freedom now. The one who call himself Church of God. Now, the reason why I say this, people, listen carefully. You see, the one them when me afraid of right now, listen carefully. We're going to point out the three worshippers them. All right? Yeah. Go to, for those of you, okay, let me close it up now. Remember when me tell you, say, we want, if you want to go back to where you just meet God, this is how you go back to how you just meet God. First thing you need to do is to be humble. That's the first thing you need to do. Verse six, yes. Listen carefully. The first thing, if you want to go back when you just meet Christ, when the relationship seems platonic, people, you have to go back to square one. Square one is humbleness. humbleness. The second thing you need to do is very simple. Listen carefully. The second thing you need to do when you come in at the spirit of humbleness is to find Acts chapter 3 verse 6 where you start use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes? And then you follow biblical principle of uh, um, Psalms 24. When you come to God, the Bible said that you have to have a clean hand. So oh, we are going to wash your hand by repenting. Listen carefully. A lot of us believe that you're saved. One save, all save. That is not true. That is not true. Listen carefully. Repentance is a daily thing. And a daily you take bath. If you're not take, listen to me. If you don't wash your physical body daily, you stink. I see him when go spiritually. So that's why the Bible said, take up your cross daily. In other words, have a bath daily. Come to me. That's what it mean. So you need to live in the spirit of repentance on a daily basis. That is how you go back to God. First, repentance. Second, humbleness. 
Huh? And listen to me. Repentance, humbleness, eh? And then start using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth constantly. The reason why you use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth constantly, people, take it from me. I was a former Uberman. Look at me. I was a former Uberman. Now, I don't do this because I want people to freedom me. I don't do this because I want likes. I do this because I want you to understand that spirit of darkness is real. And persons who worship demons are real, just like how you are real. You see, same like how you choose to worship God, you have people who choose to worship demons as well. You get me? Paul would have asked the question. Paul said, who um them, them who, who, who buy them out? Well, nobody can buy if you're not selling. You know? So the question is, who did you sell out to? Can you buy my property with some if you not sell it? No, sir. Can I buy you if you're not if you're not for, for, uh, not first bought? No, sir. If I go on a back road now. Me can't buy anybody around the back road, you know, because they're around there, do business. You think me can approach Winsome with them garbage, eh? Because Winsome is not back road. Can't approach Winsome with them thing, eh? So, who voluntarily go round the so? You can't approach them something, eh? Because they don't sell themselves and don't sell themselves. Yeah? But can you buy out Winsome? No. Because Winsome make a pledge to God, I'd rather die than to sell out. So, it's not a matter who buy you out. It's a matter of who sell you, who you sell to. So, to go back to square one, you first have to go back in a daily repentance. And the second, where did you went wrong? For those of you who wonder, where did I went wrong? Listen carefully. Did you know that the more gifted you are, the three cross start communicate with you in some? Yes. Yes, man. The three cross start communicate with you. The two thief and Jesus of Nazareth start communicate with you. And that is why we need to understand we have three different worshippers. So here is it that the spirit of darkness is communicating with you. How do the spirit of darkness communicate with you? In your visions and dreams, you're going to find demons that try to have sex with you. Anytime you're spiritually gifted and you start growing at the realm of the spirit, demons are going to try to have sex with you. Go to Genesis chapter 6, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and you will understand everything. Anytime it said the sun, when mankind began to multiply upon the face of the earth, and daughters were born, in other words, and churches were born, daughters mean church, churches were born unto them. Listen carefully. And the sons of God, referring to the fallen angel, every fallen angel need a church. Did you know that everybody upon the face of the earth is a church? And you know that every fallen angel needs a church? So every, listen carefully. According to what we were taught, it is said that about 7 billion and odd people, the last statistic said about 700, 7 billion people upon the face of the earth. Now, can you imagine 7 billion churches? First thing we need to understand is that Franklin Sense and Myrrh was the original gateway that was used in the book of um, Genesis. In other words, demons are attracted to order. See, I'm like how you have a woman. A woman is attracted to the scent of the man. You didn't know that? Yes. In the animal kingdom, even the very puss may have two puss on my yard. And they are very dominant. Listen to me. You see the male puss? Him just all when him no want nothing, you know. Him no want the food, you know. But him just walk. Him alone eat from the two plate. Can I show dominance? Well, demons are like that. All right. Now the reason why I say this, the puss now mark its turf. Every animal try to mark them turf. You see when a dog walk and a pee 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 pee, I'm turf in my mark, you know. So the reason why I say this is because demons are attracted to odor. So same like our dog mark is turf, demons mark them turf. Now, the order, which is the Franklin Center and Myrrh, when Jesus Christ of Nazareth came here, one of the gifts that they brought to Jesus Christ of Nazareth was the Franklin Center and Myrrh. Why the Franklin Center and Myrrh? A lot of people tell you because it was supposed to prepare for his death. No, it wasn't that. The Franklin Center and Myrrh was used to open the gateway. And that is why the Catholic Church still use it when they are burn incense. A Franklin incense, I'm married, they are burning in the church. You never see them use it. Because they refuse to use Jesus of Nazareth to open the, the realm of the Spirit. 
So when you listen to me, if you are your house full of demons, burn Franklin St. Amber. Take it from me, a farmer over man. If you listen to me, and what the next thing you can, if you want, you say, if you want um, demons live inside of you, use the thing with them call Kalanga water, Florida water, and rub your head. Good God Almighty, you're just hoping to put a help on yourself. People, may I talk from experience, you know? I experience me attack from you. Know. So if you want to make demons live inside of your body, listen to me. And the next thing again is the olive oil. Good God Almighty. If you want the spirit of self-righteousness and demons to live inside of you, use the olive oil. For those of you that are here, listen carefully. All you need is the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Read Acts chapter 3, 6. Peter said, silver and gold have I none. In other words, the kingdom of God is not for soul. It cannot be bought. It cannot be sold. Why you think they bring gold, come give him? That means to say, listen to me. If, me have, if you have gold, and if you have, listen carefully, if you have everything on the face of the earth, win some. Can I buy you out with nothing? No, sir. No way you, oh, no you want me to buy you out with? Yes. No, if you have everything, can I buy you out? No, sir. Okay, fine. Well, that's what happened. So they bring back the key, come give Christ, because he was the he is the key. So them say, listen to me, here is the carbon copy key. Just like when you rent a place, you know, and the landlord turn up and say, listen to me, and me have the master key. Did you know that the master key can open every door? Yes, sir. Now the master key open the first dimension, second dimension, and the third dimension. Did you know that the carbon copy key then can only open what it is designated to open? And that is why you have some people can only open the dirt, the earthly realm and can't go in at the heavenly realm. Because the keys are different. In other words, the authorities are different. Different, different levels. And some people can work in at the 61 realm and the 60 realm. What it mean by 61? 61 means the grave realm and 60 means the, the atmosphere demon. So they can work with the, the fallen angel, where we, and where we call fallen angel, the demons. And then they can work with the, with the grave realm, what we call duppy. That's all they can do. But they can't go before God. Because they don't have them the authority there before God. And so most of the churches today can't go before God. Because them don't know God personally. Did you know that the Bible tells you that I only share my secret with my friend? Amen. And that is why if you're not the friend of God, you can't know God's friend, God's secret. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. Are you God's friend? That's Bible. Are you a friend of God? Because I can't tell them a secret. Or if you tell them a secret, are you not my friend? That is why... You see, same like how God was when He was on the face of the earth. He care in a certain time when God had to do certain things, you know. God only care Peter, James, and John. Why? I know everybody can go in the room we have. You know, say me tell people my testimony and people afraid of me. Me tell people my testimony and them when me say afraid of me, them almost dead. I know everybody me can tell when me tell you know. Anybody where you see around me right now, these are people who, who have passed through great tribulation. You see, anybody where you see on this platform, we stay on the platform. Listen to me. When me done my life, you know, I me look on my life, all 11,000 people they pan just pass through the life and can't stay, you know. Why? Because this platform is not for everybody. The Bible said, listen carefully what the Bible said. The Bible said, only the many are called, few are chosen. It's only the idiot companies that platform, you know. Only the idiots. The reason why I said only the idiots, only the idiots and the reject. Did let me explain why I said the idiots. Did you know that when you start tell people say God talk to you, them say a liar tell. Yeah, idiot. God talk. Okay, I'm mad. You're mad. Okay, that's why I call you idiot. Cause when we tell people say God I talk to we they say a lie we are telling we are idiot. And then take up the Bible and I show you say, Yes, him talk to you through the Bible. Well, God don't talk to me through the Bible alone. Him talk to me visually. Him talk to me through my visions and dreams. It listen to me. So when me come no and I tell you say God I talk to me, you call me idiot. Some of you know call me Kiskofrina. You think Brother Smith, you're mad. God, God not do them sin again. Well, God talk to me. 
Well, you can you can talk, so him not talk. Well, fine. If him don't talk to you, that's fine. Because you and him not in a relationship. If you have a lover, don't tell lover talk to you. Yes, sir. They call communication. So I communicate with my lover. And he communicates with me. Praise the Lord. So when me come now and I tell you, say, my lover talk to me, you're going to tell me, say, I'm foolish, because I got to talk to people again. Well, I, I beg to differ. Praise the Lord. Beg to differ. Exactly. And there... A, a small gun. Um, I was there downstairs with my son, and my son started cooking now because he, he did not know how to cook. And I said to him down here, I said, Better if you go to your father now, you know, I said, He can retire. And when I leave and I went upstairs, that was the exact word my husband used to me. And when I called out to my son, I said, Shamar, come here, come and listen to this. I went in here, your father, with me, and turn around and look at me and say, <laughs> That's the spirit that truth. Amen. One thing I can tell you about God. One thing I can tell you about God is that God always gives a heads up. Anytime you listen to me, anytime you have a person, a relationship with God. And when I come off of the ear, when I come off of the ear, listen carefully. Hebrew 1, Hebrew 1, verse 1. Go to Hebrew 1 verse 1. Let me see what Paul is talking about. Because when Paul care Bible, you know, Paul care Bible because Paul wants to say something. Let me hear what Paul is saying. Hebrew 1 Hebrew 1 1. Hebrew 1 1. That's what he said. Hebrew 1 1. Um, Hebrew 1 1. God who at sundry times and in diverse mind, uh, manners speak, speak in time past unto the Father by the prophets. That Hebrew 1 1. So he's speaking time past to the prophet. So Paul may still not get it. Are you saying that God don't speak to us now? What are you trying to say, Paul? God who at sundry time. God in the past. That's what he means. Don't you make this word sundry time past you. In other words, God in time past. That's what he means. In the past, God talked to mankind. What Paul, what are you saying here, Paul? Good evening, good night, and good evening. Good night. So in the past, where um, so the prophet, the prophets of the prophets, God used to talk to the prophets back then. Yes. And the prophets were the mouthpiece of God. The people. Yes. Now, God speak to His Son Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and the Holy Spirit in them, and the Holy Spirit in you. That's how they communicate. Okay. So let me say, make it this. So you're saying that God still speak to man. So you're saying that God still communicate with man. That's what you're saying. Am I to believe that you're saying that God still communicate with man today? Okay, so Paul is being a little technical here. Yeah. Okay. God speak to us through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's what you're saying. I, I heard what Paul is saying. Paul, you, in, you need to not give problem. Yes. 
You're saying that God still speaks to man. Okay, may I understand what Paula said now? Yes. May I understand what Paula said now? Paul, your internet giving a little problem. Paul, your internet giving a little problem. Can you send me back a request? May I understand what Paula said now? What Paul is saying is very simple. Paul is saying, in order for you to, um, to talk to God, you have to first go through the door. In other words, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the spiritual door. That's what Paul is saying. All right? So you go to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And this is biblical as well. Because in Joel chapter 2, verse um, 28, it said, In the last days after the birth, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And this was the case in Acts chapter 2, where we saw where Jesus said, Go to the upper room and then wait for me there. And then the Holy Spirit is going to descend upon you. You get me? Yeah. So, Paul, you're right. So, what Paul is actually saying, um, and this is so good because this is how you try the Spirit, because Spirit is going to communicate with you now. That's why the Bible said in 1 John 4, verse 1, Beloved, believe not every spirit that is talking to you, but try the Spirit. So, when you're using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, people, this is how you try the Spirit. Using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If somebody in front of you and you know, say them are telling a lie, all you have to say, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the spirit of truth be revealed right now. And all of a sudden, Amen. the person can't lie to you anymore. I'm not asking you, you know. I'll tell me and tell you. Amen. Why do you think when people come on the platform, they always say, pray for us? Amen. Think me an idiot? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, I used to do security work. I used to do security work. Yes. The individual asks, PMO, you used to do security work? Yes. I used to work with um with a lot of company. I used to work with Milex. I used to work. The last one I worked with was Premier Security. And I was at Excelsior. Yes, I used to do security work. All right? And I still do security work because I'm securing my soul now and those of others <laughs> by telling them the truth. <laughs> Amen. Yes, I used to do security work. Um, let me hear what this individual... So the next thing I want to do, do point out now, I want to close this first before we start taking any question. The three worshippers, people, you have three cross. Now the question is, which one of the cross are you standing under? Uh, that are the king you know, you know because if you're standing under the middle cross then the first thing on the middle cross read um acts, read verse 19 for me please not acts but saint john chapter 19 verse 19 read saint john chapter 19 verse 19 no man go back to um to saint john Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. For those of you that are here, let me give you um, a little, um, little inspiration. I love to read the book of Mark. The book of Mark. As in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Well, I love to read the book of Mark. Out of it, I love to read the two, two of them. Matthew, I love to read. You say Matthew? Matthew was a historian. Matthew tell you about the gene and all the, the, the background of Jesus and how did he get here. So Matthew was a historian. The way how Luke write, Luke is a doctor. Because you can't tell how people write, you know. And the way how Mark write, Mark only have 16 chapters. So Mark gets straight to the point. So Mark was in law. The law is that you get straight to the point. You know, you know, fast and nothing. You know, you know, give your opinion. You just get straight to the point. So Mark is the shortest one. So Mark is a is a is a lawman. Is he is a lawyer or is a policeman somewhere along there? So he know the law. So he no fabricate nothing. So he gets straight to the point. So me love free the book of Mark. Come Mark gets straight to the point. Come Mark say, listen to me. The only thing Satan is afraid of is the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And this is found in Mark chapter 1, verse 23 and 24. 
where Satan went inside of the church and I bad up the pastor them. I did something today, you know. Satan go in the church and bad up the pastor them. John 19, verse 19. Now, the question is, which one of the cross are you standing under? And that's the thing now, you know. Because this is not a church thing anymore, you know. And this is not a religious group anymore, you know. This is not about the blear them anymore and the New Testament and the this and the that, you know. This is not about them anymore. And the seven day advent. This is not a religion thing. This is not a religion thing. This is not a denominational thing. This is a personal thing between you and God. The question is, which one of the cross are you standing under? Verse Listen carefully. 19 said what? And, and Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. And the, and the writing was Jesus of Nazareth. Right there so. So here is it that we have three worshippers. So we have the worshippers of Jesus of Nazareth. Listen carefully, people. We have the worshippers of Jesus of Nazareth. So the worshippers of Jesus of Nazareth don't have a problem using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth frequently, like how Paul, like how Peter was using the name in Acts chapter 3, verse 6. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have I given to you in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, arise and walk. So Peter was standing under the Migo cross. The question is, which one of the cross are you standing under winsome? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Then if it is that you're standing under the cross of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, then you should be using the title that is on the cross, Jesus of Nazareth. No, I am standing under. I am standing under the cross of the thief. Why? Because did you know that the thief is called the unknown God? Because them no label. So listen to me. A whole heap of person worshipping and them don't know who they're worshipping or what they're worshipping. So they are worshipping the unknown God. Are the thief in God because it's, God is actually thief in your soul. Are okay. thiefish, thiefish you're worshiping? So here is it now. How did I come to the um the fact that we have three church? Go to verse ninety. Go to verse twenty five. So for the first time we saw three cross. One was in the middle. One and two was on the two end. And for the first time in verse twenty five we saw three woman standing under the cross now this is where the word comes in woman mean church people in the bible woman mean church let us go to the tree cross verse 25 what is it now there, stood, now there stood by the cross of jesus his mother stop right there so stop right there so stop right there so who was the mother of jesus mary so we have mary number one read again and Mary's sister. And Mary's sister. So this is Mary number two. This is Mary number two. And then the next Mary. What is the next Mary name? Mary the wife of, of, Sifu, of Cephas. Of Cephas. Okay. Yes. And, and Mary. Mega, Mega Mary Magdalene. Magdalene right. And we know that Mary Magdalene was once possessed. Wow. So many Mary. Ah. So we have three Jesus on the cross and three Mary under the cross. Did you know that the word Mary mean um, church? No. Okay. That's why the Catholic Church said Holy Mary, Church of God, our Mother of God. So here is it. Was it coincident that we have three cross, three Jesus in the Bible and three Mary under the cross? Listen carefully. All of these are three worshippers. People, we need to understand these things. Everything in the Bible is significant. You just have to search the Bible. All right? So here is it that we have three set of people. So here is it that we have three set of people. So here am I, and I represent Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Who do you represent, Winsome? I represent Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay. The person on the, on the platform now, let me free up the mic and ask him who does he represent. Who do you represent? Evelyn Teo. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay. So we are going to have a, a we are going to something now. We are going to we are going to display the tree cross. And we are going to use us to display the tree cross. So I am going to choose the cross on the left. So me represent the cross on the left. Which one of them you represent, man? Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the one in the middle. No, 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 no. 
I cheer with it on the platform. So we're going to do a little skit. Okay, the one on the right. Okay, me represent the one on the left. So, lady, you represent the one in the middle, don't. Okay, fine. Now, the reason why I say this is because this is what church boy long to know. This is what church boy long to know, you know. So, my choice is that I choose to live in the spirit of disobedient. So, me live for the left hand cross. You now choose to live inside the spirit of self, which is called pride. Huh? No, self and pride work together. So when self and pride work together, you know, it means that me and your friend. No, so. Why you think in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse um, 16, it said that the moon and the star, the two created beings. Did you know say, the left hand cross is God created being? Satan? And did you know that mankind is God created being? And one is called the moon and one is called the star. And when this moon and the star shine, not in the darkness. Yes. That's why the Bible said, when I seek to do good, evil always presents itself. Now, this is the reason why I say this, is because it boiled down to the three of us now. And it boiled down to personal decision. So if I choose to worship in the spirit of disobedience against God, I am now in the left hand side of the cross. And if this young man choose to worship inside God, um, in um, worship now, but he refused to accept the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Why do you think I go up? He have a form of godliness, but he has no power. You see, any church will refuse to use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth at the church of Mandat, and at them on the right hand side. You understand me, sir? Yes, pastor. The reason why I say this, I'll know, you know, did you know that even though you hear me talking about the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, some people will not accept what I say? I accept that. No, I kid you not. Some people will not accept what I say. Because if they accept what I say, that means that all of them hear the way they might preach was foolishness. And the spirit of darkness will not allow them to accept it. You know who is prop, who is God? Who, tell me who is God's biggest enemy? You can say that, but that those are not God's biggest enemy. Who you think is God's biggest enemy, Winsome? God's biggest is disobedience. No. Yes. No. God's biggest enemy is the wisdom of man. The Bible said, because of lack of knowledge, my people perish. Did you know that the wisdom of man challenged God? Okay. The wisdom of man challenged God. The Bible said in the book of Exodus chapter 7, when Moses was sent back to Egypt with Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it was the wise men. Wise men mean biblical scholar. Where you talk is foolishness. Oh, one man for dead upon the cross for everybody. Foolishness that. You notice you have your good, good picnic until they reach a college. All of a sudden, they're supposed to get wiser than turn them stupid ass. Come back. Mommy, me not believe what you teach me you now. You come tell me about this and that. You notice you have your good, good picnic until when they reach a college. Then just, all of a sudden, they come back. Listen carefully. All of a sudden, they come back with them crap. I can't tell you. You send out your good, good picnic when they come back. They are lesbian, they are they homosexual, and they are good, good picnic. And all of a sudden, they go, they go. I have to wonder if college was all that. When some of them come back. Serious. Some of them go out with them barley and come back and nutty. Come out every day, them take out, wax out of them ears and curl up them head. Boy, I want to tell us. You spend so much money for come sitting on a roadside and a, a roll up Ganda's cliff. Like, seriously? Talk and foolish, she said, I'm not going to say, you know, say, I only have degree. 
I know that there's a problem, you know. I know that there's a problem. Listen carefully. I want thing me I gotta tell you, and take it as I tell you. You see, anybody we talk against God can't get God perfect, you know. No, sir. You know, say your marriage end, my brother. I know. Okay. Me just say make you know your marriage end. If I don't know, not me know that. Any time you talk against God, God, listen to me. You, you just embrace yourself. Just embrace yourself. Can your marriage over? Sorry, I was in New Jersey last month and I went to my friend's house and I was still declaring God and everybody was laughing. And when I came home back, her mother died. And finally, I put up something and my status this morning. And I hear she said one who only called against God was saying, Amen. First thing you need to understand, you know, why you think we have cemeteries beside us? To remind our nasty shit. Mm -hmm. Say we are nothing but human beings. And when you show off yourself, you're going right over there. Why do you think you always have the living? And the, every side, every living, you always have one dead. To remind your ass. Say over this, you're going to look more from now. So gather all you want, gather. But when you gather it, you are alone or go for stay over there. You see, everybody go to funeral and pay them last respect. I will stay in the grave. Are you on them? You're alone staying in that shit. Well, I can tell you why, you know. First thing you need to understand, you have three weeks. Listen to me. Light mean education. We call it education today. But light mean wisdom. And light mean knowledge. Now, listen carefully. One is called the tree of righteousness, which is the spirit of righteousness which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And one is called, and the two of them is called the tree of knowledge. You hear, hear me? If you go to Genesis chapter 2, verse 9, it said, one of them, two of them is called the tree of knowledge. Now, they are called the tree of knowledge of good and evil. When you hear good, good mean mankind and evil represent the fallen angels and Satan. You get me? So it is said that one is called, go to Genesis, it is there in the Bible. See or something, and he said, The tree of knowledge, Genesis 2, Genesis 2, verse 9. Verse 9, and it reads us, and out of the ground, may the Lord God stop right there. So, stop right there. So, anytime you hear out of the ground, it means in the earth, because in the earth we live. So, in the earth, the Lord God caused to grow, because Jesus Christ of Nazareth come to the earth, don't. Why did Jesus Christ of Nazareth came to the earth? Because Satan came to the earth. Did you know that Satan came to the earth through, through Cain? No. Okay. The first time he came to the earth through the body of Cain. How did he come to the earth through the body of Cain? Because the church gave him the authority to come to the earth. What do I mean by this? When the Bible said the woman, the woman represents church. So the woman is considered to be the church, eh? which is the womb of Eve. Listen carefully. Why do you think Satan go after the womb? Womb are important. Listen carefully. And that is why they try to destroy the children from the womb. Did you know when me and watch one surgery about abortion? Did you know say a piece of metal them take and tear the baby apart? I kid you not. When they are doing abortion, listen carefully. They took the piece of metal like a scissors and cut the baby apart. And then the blood run out. I kid you not. That is sacrificial offering. You think I drew Merrick? When I saw it, I was like, oh my God. They take something and they crush the baby. Poof. Bust all the head called Poof. Listen to me. That is sacrificial offering. So when I talk about... I support, you see how Juliet Cutburn, I talk about she support um, um, the killing of baby. That they call, sure. Pe people see me in my green shot, so I'm a labor right. If that you know what I say. I'm not PMP, I'm not PMP, I'm not labor right neither. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a talk, I'm going to get it to them. But listen carefully, Juliet Cutburn support both, both people need for, both 
have right over them body and they can abort. Abort what? If you want abort, you cover up your damn penis. And go up on family planning. Or tie off your damn tube. But once the pitney is inside the belly, listen carefully, once the pitney is inside the belly farming, that's life. And you should not tamper with it. When you talk, so I talk about you support abortion and this and that. That tell you says a damn wicked. By the way, do you like Cabrera Pitney? Do you like Cabrera Pitney? And if she, if she have a prayer that God keep her, one which she have. But if she don't have a prayer that her womb curse and she don't have none. Because them they're sitting in the have Pitney. Well, I pray that she don't have none because she don't deserve none. They are all mule. Somebody say, yes, she have. Well, if she have, praise be God. She has too. Well, praise be to God. But what I want you to understand, I want people to understand, you should not be promoting that you kill babies. You should not do that. We're not, we're not even for so far, you know. We're not even for so far. Once baby comes in, a God life that. If you listen to me, the best contraceptive um, you can have is abstinence. And if it, you want to go, at least, you see the doctor them at night time, when the doctor them, I do them full initial at night time. Them use, they, they, you see the gloves them when they use and put on for their finger. When them I do them foolishness at night time, they not, yeah, the gloves they use, you know. Then put on the gloves for them penis and do them thing, latex rubber. I kid you not. You must can find something, man, if I even have a scandal bag. Tie up your sitting, man. They are more wicked. So you see why we in a dismiss? Mm -hmm. Exactly. When I saw it, you take this up, man, you crush the baby head. Poof! And bust the head. Huh? And then you push up up there and wash it out. No, me, me talk like this, no, because I want to no, understand uh, uh, where abortion consists of. When you think abortion, I do some, something where you do this. Listen to me. I pull them, pull the pick them apart. Cut the pick them. Poof, and cut off the hand. Drop the hand. Poof, cut the foot. Cut the and dry. Poof, and cut this and dry it out. Poof, and cut that and dry it out. But uh, when them are cut, cut, I pray to God that they cut and kill all the one where I try to kill the pick me too. I make the two want to become sacrificial offering. For those of you that are here, the view that I share are nothing to do with anybody else on the platform but solely me. So if you have a problem, come after me. Bless the Lord. Riches blessing the you. in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so what I want people to understand, it boils down to choices. It boils down to choices. So here is it that we have three individuals and the three of us decide that we are now. Because we have to do road already, you know. You know, do road already, man of God. Yes, sir. And when you do road now, you realize, say, yo, me do road, you know, me find out say, the two, the two cross, you know, the, the left hand one and the, and the right hand one now uh, help me now, foolish or something. You, you, you can't accept, listen to me. Can you accept, listen to me. If you can't accept the middle cross if you never try the two cross, you know? Exactly. Then what you're going to know is the middle cross is good. Or because you go through the next two crosses. And so you know, say the middle cross is the right one, you know. Because, listen to me. You have some woman with, who me right off, man. I mean, I have nothing to do with man. And when she buck up on a real man now, she change her tune. Likewise, you have a woman right off, man. But one thing me can tell you, me just remember what the person said now. Reach the topic. What is called uneven yoke? An uneven yoke. The Bible said uneven yoke. How do one become an uneven yoke? When an uneven yoke is a person, all right, let's say one is baptized and one is not baptized. So in, in other words, it depends. An uneven yoke is one who is going off a God and, one is, and, and the other one is, is to be elsewhere. Man of God, you're, 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 what is called an uneven yoke? Christ of Nazareth, but the other person might be um, 
a Christian also, but uh, not following the principles of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He was dwell in the spirit of disobedience and, and, and keep into his or her way of life. Somebody said one is a believer, and one is a non-believer. No. Uh, listen carefully. Did you know that you have person who is a believer? Listen carefully. When you said uneven yoke, a lot of people will tell you that um, an uneven yoke is one who go at church and the next one don't go at church. That is bullshit. An uneven yoke is when you don't see what me see and me don't see what you see. That is an uneven yoke. We can't stand. We don't see eye to high. Uneven yoke that. Oh, God Almighty. Listen carefully. Now, even if you are Christian and me are Christian, that no means say the two are we are the same yoke. One thing I can tell you, listen carefully. Here is the man of God. Use him as example. He had come in at the truth and him start using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, say everything changed now, though. Because if you in a relationship, you know, and start using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, if the wife was playing, Dali was done, you know. And if you in a relationship and the man start using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Dali was done, you know. Yeah. Yes, man, Dali was done, man. Because one thing with Jesus Christ of Nazareth, him no play Dali was. So anybody we are play with you, as long as you start using Father God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it's only a matter of time. Make you at least um, six months. Dali was done. You will know the person true nature. Straight. Now, the reason why I say this is because many individuals, because it two one who are the same church, and because it's one who is the same religious faith, and who no baptize and say who no equal. Who no equal? Who no equal? Who no equal? When you become equal, and that is why I tell people all the while, you see, anytime you come face to face with God and you find a man, Introduce them to your God. That are the first thing you need to do. Anyhow, this year on it won't worship the same God. Uno can work together. Whether uno want to worship Bafimi or anything, but the two must have the same God. Listen carefully. The two must have the same God. So if I see it and you want to worship, go look what Satan is worshiper. Yeah? The two one have the same God. But you not supposed to have one God and the next one have the next. Now, a lot of you don't understand. Listen carefully. When you start using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you know, everything changed, you know. Yes, remember the spirit Thank you. So even though you would have married to this woman and married to this man and they were using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and they were using the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ, as soon as you start supporting the realm of the spirit, all of a sudden this very woman where you blew in her face, ejaculating her and put your, your blood inside her because sperm is blood. That's why the Bible said your spirit become one. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Every time you, as a man, ejaculate in your wife, it become a blood. A blood. Your sperm is blood. That is why it is when the woman, you know, say the woman can't test the blood. In other words, when a baby is born, you know, say woman not do blood test? Uh -uh. I demand do it. Why the man have to do the blood test? Exactly. That is one. And that the next thing you need to understand. The womb, the womb only keep the baby and nurture the baby. How is this possible? Let me make sure I tell you this. In Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, when Satan had sex with Eve in the realm of the spirit, Cain was a damn jacket. And God decided say, Adam not going to get the jacket. So what God had to do was to supply X. You might say, listen to me. I'm going to supply the blood system. So listen to me. Some of you might think of some joke thing, but it sounds like a real. Don't. Listen to me. The reason why I say this is because I want you to understand. This is what I want you to understand. The blood is where the life is. The physical life is in the blood. The spiritual life is in the, is in the church. Now, the woman is considered the church and the man is considered the life machine. What do I mean by this? So man represents the physical life and woman represents the spiritual life. You didn't know that? Yeah. That's why I see it and hate woman. Man of God? Yes. 
I'm going to give you the opportunity to pray right now. And I pray that we're going to stand in agreement with you. But I'm going to ask you to pray right now. Go ahead. You don't have to pray out loud, you know, if you don't want to. Just pray. Because one of the things I'm going to ask you to do is to put your wife before God. Because one of the foot is outside already. Do anything you want to do, man. I just, I may just do that. Me use wisdom and tap this up. It was always there, you know, but it just that the scale is being removed now. Because the sex demons is still there. And she's she's feeding them. And the forget about that. I'm gonna ask you to pray for your wife. Go ahead. And if this is what you want for me, and if this is the marriage that you want for me, fix my wife and bring her back home. But if this is not the marriage that you want for me, then I pray that you divorce the both of us. So that we can go our separate way. So that I can find the one that you have for me. No, no, no. So that you, God, can find the one that you have for me. You see, somehow we married to some people we're not supposed to marry to in a day one, you know. But the reason why you ask God to save your marriage is because you're a priest. And so, God, I would love her to be saved. But did you know that some people are going to turn a pillar of salt? I know that. Because your wife already out there work. The one that slip out. <laughs> but but one thing I want you to do is to keep your eyes open because when it come, it's not supposed to drop like a black and drop by you. Because when it come as a black and drop by you, it hurt you. Hurt you. Yes, man. So this is how you're going to pray. This is how you're going to pray. Eternal God. If by any chance... My wife is an idol in my life. My wife is an idol. Remove the idol. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And place yourself in my heart where this idol is. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The reason why you pray like that is because if she should come tomorrow and say, listen to me, over. It already over already, you know. But if she should come and say over now, at least you know go mad like how many go mad. Because you would have already prepare yourself. God got to give you enough time, you know. That means say if you should see the cushion and move, and you know, listen carefully. I have two puss in my home, two little puss in my home. And it was deliberately when I got the puss in my home, coming like animal, especially puss. 
me not, me not like animal, especially puss. And when my wife come and said, listen this, you know why I take the pussy in my house? Two reasons. But number one was to be at peace with the wife. Because when the wife tells her she wants something, you know, I would rather she have the puss than she have a man. Well, me rather the puss. <laughs> So when she come home, she talk to her puss. We don't have a problem with that. We can't, we can't, we can't share her with her puss. But now with somebody else. Yes? So me said, okay, give her the puss. So she get her puss and she have her puss. But one thing I have noticed about these puss, despite the fact that they are small, listen carefully. When you take up the puss and drop the puss, the puss always drop on them foot. Them can't drop on them back. The reason why I say this is because when you have Christ in your life, you're not supposed to jump in your, your back, you know. You're supposed to jump by your foot. You get me? So when the woman said it over, you turn up on Christ and say, thank you, you know, long me didn't want you go on. And then you go back to God and say, okay, God, I'm ready now. Me, you're only for a woman, not you're for a man, you know. So nobody make no one girl have your week, you know. I'm just saying. Because one thing I have learned over the year, and I cut me a cut you, but me want you say less, because I don't know if she's up on the life. But one thing I intelligent me I use, make me talk. One thing I no cut me a cut you, but you say less, because you, you did up on life, I try with be private bit. No, make me alone talk. What I want you to understand, man of God, is very simple. Now, I have learned this song when I was a little boy growing up. If you think that nobody want him. Just put him out there and just count one, two, three, and just turn back around. Yes, Who oh, used to remember one, two, three red lights? One, two, three red lights. And he got, listen to me. So you say you take somebody where where gold and precious gem in a demo time. You know much woman and short she good man. So you got good man and play a fool and see what happened. Listen carefully. I see somebody for my life. No, not for my life, for my, for my list. And the person said, listen to me. The person said, I'm anointed. I want me look, me say anointed, but lonely. I want if I can pick me anointed, you know, but them lonely. The reason why I say this, me talk every day, I may going to say it again. <laughs> you see, someone who know, listen carefully. You see, someone who know, hypocrite, you talk about you're not married to God and married to Jesus. Listen to me. I want to stop on a bullshit. Agree, say, I'm not married to God, but every now and then, three o'clock before day, when you get up and pray, you should be lying down and being poked. Instead, I get up and make nice in the room of the spirit of ton demons and devil. Three o'clock at night is when the alarm clock up. Huh? When you're not talking, yeah. Instead, you should be poking those time. Instead of bonus get up and worship demons. You know, if you worship 3 o'clock in the morning and 2 o'clock, we you get up 1 a.m. when baby got in bed, because baby drop asleep at 12 o'clock. And by 3 o'clock before 5 o'clock, you just get up and snipe and then you go to work. Call it morning time, quickie. I'm just saying. Absolutely. And then I bet if you did have a man in your life, you wouldn't become witches and warlock at night time. Because you don't have time to occupy yourself. You do what? Yeah, one marvelous husband. In fact, in fact, the trouble now. I pray, I pray, I pray, I'm scaring now. To God be the glory. I bet him the side of you. No, if I decide to be gone, he got a shot because me, me still in the right of the trouble. Now, the reason why I want you guys to understand this, listen to me carefully. When you're in a relationship, and people do not regard who you are and do not appreciate who you are. Just take away your damn self. Sure. That's all you need to do. And me now go put myself in a relationship. Listen to me. You see, my wife and I, we live like brother and sister. Perfect brother and sister. Also, my time, I wonder, that's why sex must be not enough. But good God Almighty. And for those of you that are here, them always have a saying, say, Ooh, I tell you now, get no sex, make you not talk about sex. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Let us be factual. When a woman get involved with a man, a woman look for companion. 
and she look for security. Amen. Companion and security. When a man look a woman, him looking, him look. Listen to me. Not necessary companion, you know, but he's looking comfort and sex. I repeat, when a man look a woman, this is where we, we, we get the twisted, you know. You need to understand why a man get involved in a relationship. When a man get in a relationship with you, you know, a, a, a sex, he's looking up, vagina, he's looking up, straight. Whether you want to believe it, yes, I know, but that is the hard truth. When a man start flirt with you, a vagina, he's look straight across the board. And that is why me tell my people, you see, you see me? me? No matter how me are your friend, you know, don't come at me yard. I know you, I know my wife, I you know. I you, I uh -huh. You don't know that to man of God? Uh -huh. I know my wife, I know you, I you, I Because the woman sometimes innocent, you know. But your mind, not pure, my brother. Not come. Listen to me, don't come at my yard. If, at least, at least, I know nobody will come at my yard except my son and me who are ready to come there. Richest blessing upon you, everybody. And man of God, continue to pray for your wife, here. Yeah? Anytime the Lord tell us, anytime the Lord tell us a tap, I don't need done. You see, any, anytime the Lord tell us a tap, or she tell a tap, I, I physically don't need done, you know, here? Yeah, because I tell you, I think of it, even the other day, she was very sick, right? Yes. Feeling, feeling some terrible pain, but she was, she didn't have to have some pain, and we can't talk to her about anything, we can't talk to her about what she did, and we can't enjoy myself, everything we have to do, I mean, we tell myself we can't do it. And I said to her, you know what? You should be behaving yourself because you must time take come here door and, and prayer while you are here. If I never pray for you. And God turn your hands off it, you, you, you wouldn't be here. But I go say, oh, they do next time you know pray for me. What's it? What's it? Tell, you know, tell us the we tell us the relationship done. <laughs> tell us the relationship done. Just got you the just got you the motion now. Um kids involved? Kids it's kids involved? Okay, well, that is easy. That is even better when kids not involved. Listen carefully. If I were you, mother, bad safe same way. No breeder. That is my best opinion. No breeder. That means that when she's ready to go, huh? I am making sure that that don't happen. Please, please do. Please do. And the reason for this is very simple. Did you know that God was the one who tied the, 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 the womb? of Micah. Micah was Saul's daughter. And because Saul disrespected God. Anybody will disrespect God. God makes sure to curse the womb. Micah disrespect God. Um, disrespect God. How did Micah disrespect God? Micah was Saul's daughter. And Saul would have cursed God by not living in obedience. And did you know that Micah, when Micah saw that David was praising God and David closed Jap off, Micah said in her heart, watch ya. X and X and X and X and watch the king out dance in front. You see, anybody will take you out of the presence of God? That is an even yoke. Anybody will take you out of the presence of God, an even yoke that. You have, you have, you have people who are sinners, you know, and they encourage you as their husband. Go on a church, man, as your wife. Go on a church, man, and then have a problem. But you see, anybody will, in, will, will encourage you to come out of God, that they are an even yoke. What do you mean if I see it on that? Now, first thing you need to understand, you know, listen carefully. Why you need to understand, you know, there come a time when you tell her, if, if this is what you're saying, that this is your, listen carefully. A two hard thing, you know, you have a thing when they call ultimatum. There's a thing that they call ultimatum. This is what is going to happen. And you give her an ultimatum. X and X and X. Don't you work? Yes, I do. Okay, fine. So you don't need, you don't need, you don't need, I don't like you depend on she. Because you have your own door. Okay, fine. Okay. So one thing I want you to understand. Listen to me. If it two on not can what? Two can walk until them agree. Listen to me. This is what I'm going to say to you. And you already know. All right? I am 49 years old, all right? And experience would have, have me to understand that any time a woman start deal with in a them kind of thing, outright, 
them kind of thing yeah. it means that she already have some one she just come home to you you know at night time you know but she out there shopping now nah, say nothing more bye bye big up yourself man of god all right one thing we can tell you, you know god call fool god not keep fool Straight across the board. God call fool. God not keep fool. Uh, anytime you and the woman can work, separate. Be he separated from among them. Because you listen carefully. When you have to start relationship, you have to start the relationship on a godly basis. Let's your picking them become curse. Yeah. Take it as me tell you. Uh sure. person that is here. What's your name? Um hello? You sent me a request. Did you want to come up? Yes? No? Yes, man of God. Good night. Good night to you, man. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. Win some? Yes. Close your mic for me. Stay on the line. Close your mic. What we're going to do now, we're going to talk to the people on the ear, and every now and then, we're going to um, ask you to come in here, win some. And if you're on the program and you feel led to say something, Please to unmute and say what the Lord put on your heart. All right? Go ahead, ma'am. Yes, two issues. Um, my daughter came in from school and she told me that the school brought her to a church. Yes. And the church, without the consent of the parents, you know, so sometimes these... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The church brought your daughter... The, 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 the school, school brought, brought your daughter parents. to a church without your permission right okay and they sprinkle holy water on there is no such thing as holy water ma'am they sprinkle water on the woman yes. and the daughter they sprinkle, they sprinkle water on her okay and rub her forehead yes and it's very in unsickling to me that you see these um they are now dedicating your child they are now dedicating your child to the the marine kingdom and the dark world now if you don't pray as a mother listen carefully what i would ask you to do is to first pray all right so what you're going to do is rededicate back your baby where is your your baby she's right here with me okay so this is how you pray eternal god eternal god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i come in your presence right now and I rededicate back my child to you. And I rededicate back my child. Call the child name in your mind. Nobody now for your child name. Okay. I rededicate. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Call the child name in your mind now. You belong to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You belong to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And every spirit that was released upon you today. And when was this, by the way? Was, um, two days ago. And every spirit that was released upon you two days ago. And every spirit that was released upon you two days ago. I take authority over them right now as your mother. I take authority over them right now as your mother. And I rebuke them back to the pit of hell. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Eternal God. Eternal God. This is my daughter. This is my daughter. And I rededicate her back to you right now. And I rededicate her back to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ. How old is the child? Nazareth. Twelve years old. Permission to speak with her. Yes, sir. Good evening to you, ma'am. Good evening to you. Repeat after me. Eternal God. Eternal God. Every spirit that is inside of me. Every spirit that is inside of me. That is not of you. That is not of you. I come against them right now. I come against them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And send them back to the pit of hell. Jehovah God. Jehovah God. You are my God. You are my God. 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Now, for those of you that are here, you may think, what the hell is going on here? First thing you need to understand, how old was Jesus when he started the ministry? Twelve. Okay. So, whosoever brought the child to this ceremony know exactly what they were doing. They were now opening up the realm of the spirit upon the little child. They know exactly what they were doing. They know exactly what they were doing. They know exactly what they were doing. They were now presenting the child to the realm of the spirit and they were doing it negatively. Look, move from this. You can't talk to the child, eh? but in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we shut down every spirit that was released upon her. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Amen. The person who brought her to the to the man, they know exactly what they were doing. Because Jesus Christ of Nazareth started the ministry at the age of 12. And they were now preparing her. In other words, they dedicate her to who? Or to whom did they dedicate her to? That is why it's so important. What you need to do now is to go to the school and tell them, do not carry my picnic away. Without my consent. Don't send nothing in our text. Go down there. Yes. Go down there and tell them, say, listen to me. Do not bring my child off of the school compound without my permission. No way. Whether that church, yes. no, we not care where no one care her. Without you telling me, say, you're taking my, me send my child come to school. You're not supposed to take the child off of my compound without my permission. You get me? I'm just saying. Yes. You did the right yes. thing, ma'am. Big up yourself. All right. The next thing, Pastor, as you're talking and, and, and when, about the three churches, I agree with you. A lot of these churches is not serving God. God don't know them. Because I am aware of an incident. Man of God. Yes. The pastor come to marry that man without his consent. The man don't know about a wedding. But the pastor knows him don't know a present here to marry the man. What? We don't know that he's getting married. What? Yes. Yes, and when I tell them that this is demonic, this is the devil, this woman is a devil, the pastor is a devil, all of them in agreement is a devil. They, they, they say, I am the devil. It's like, it's like, I am the devil. Because I can see that these things are wrong. A lot of these women... First thing we need to understand, whenever you try to control someone, that is witchcraft. Of it, ice. The Bible said, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. Um, Prophetess Winsome, could you open the mic and go to Revelation 3, verse 20? Revelation 3, verse 20. When me talk, me bring Bible. People, this is called free will. Do your thing, man. Take your time. This is called free will. What is said? Revelation. 3.20 Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. Now, listen carefully what this means. It said, I got a talk, you know. The one who can override everything. Because he make we know. I am supposed to control we. But yet still he said. Behold. I give you the free will to choose. Whether you want to let me in. Yes or no. I give you the free will to serve me. Yes or no. So how is it that you going to marry me? I mean a nobody. Well, that's why I thank God for this platform, you know. 
That's why I thank God for this platform. Because on this platform, me used to tie man and me used to tie woman. And then God sent me back and said, Go show them how we pull. So in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, everybody where you tie up, we pull them right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When we used to tie people, we used to use the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ. For those of you who believe that you're in a relationship and you tie up in it, you believe that the person works something for you. All you need to say, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, anybody tie me, me pull it right now. It done here? Did you know? Did you know that when you tie somebody by you, all of a sudden the relationship gets still and him start beat out your ass? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Question me ask you now, you know. Question me ask you now. Question me ask you now. Who is the man to you? So the question I know asks though is very simple. All of the above that you said she's not given, does she bring God to the table? Well, they serve two different God as far as I see it. Okay. Now the reason why I ask this, you know, because relationship is not. By the way, one question I'm going to ask you: What is it that you bring to the table? Huh. Well, me bring to the table. Yeah. Okay, but you're playing the role of a help me now, so you should just help the man and just uh, didn't um didn't um Sarah and Abraham and and Aga play the help me. So are you now saying that you're Sarah or Aga? Which one of them? Go ahead, go ahead, Winsom. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, lady, lady. Um, wait, we know the what, the what, what is your, your title? The what? The, the royal princess. Oh, the royal princess. Okay, royal princess. Just just break a second. Winsom want to say something. Yes. Right? And what we must understand. This sound like Winsome talking from experience. Yes. This is what he's telling her from the other woman. But what we must understand is this. When a man comes to you and speaks to you about a woman that he lives with, and when he lives with you, you are going to pay the same penalty. So what is what what would you say, Winsome? In this case, what would you say, Winsome? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. one at a time, one at a time. One at a time.
So let me ask you one question, though. Let me let me ask you one question. Let me ask you one question. Let me ask you one question. Um, which which church do you belong to? I don't go to a church right now. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a child of God. I don't go to a church. Hold, hold on, hold on, Winsom, 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 Winsom. Hold on. Go ahead, ma'am. I don't go to a church. I am a child of God. I don't go to church because the same thing that what you were preaching. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just ask you one question. I just ask you one question. Yeah. The next question I'm going to ask you is, is the man a child of God as well? Yes. And the woman is a child of God as well? Mighty God. As soon as me ask about the woman is a child of God, the, the, the program, the, the um, internet is cut off. Um, she's, she, um, is the woman a child of God as well? Uh -huh. Yes. yes Win some. Close the mic for me, please. That is the question. What, what that each of us serve that everybody declared to be a child of God. Prophetess Winsome, close the mic for me, please. Okay. All right. Uh, go ahead, um, Royal Princess. Yes, I'm saying everybody declared to be a child of God in the situation, but who is serving which God and what God? Okay. Now, the question I'm going to ask is very simple. Have you ever have a dialogue with this woman? Yes, I have. So, as somebody who you know? No, no, I don't know her. She so, on the phone. She, so, she took my number and called me and have a dialogue with me. Okay. Remember, you were here. How long were you? Were you, uh, you see, when I start the program, you know, I, I would have said that in the program, this is what I said. I said that you have people who tell you that they love God. It's just that we don't love our neighbors and we don't just love the people around us. Well, this is a typical example of what I'm saying. So here is it that the two of you in love with the same man. The question I'm going to ask is very simple. Very simple, all right. If it is that the both of you are in love with the same man, I'm judging that you're both in love with the same man, yes. And all three of you claim, and what I know my feelings. So, if this is the case, if this is the case, um, why is it that the man you no know, at your home right now? Okay, so the next question I'm going to ask is very simple. Why is it that the man don't divorce? Yes, <laughs> wow. No, serious. Why is it that he to don't divorce? Yes. All right, to my understanding, I think that the man is spiritually compelled. There is no such thing. If he's, you are, you're telling me that okay fine if you said he's compelled that means that you're saying that the woman tie him that's what i believe okay fine okay fine so you have the woman man and you believe that the woman tie her man yes so question me will ask you now is it safe for her to believe that you also tie him <laughs> is this the comedy club? The reason why I said that, you know, is because it, both of you are being played by this circus clown, you know. You know that, though? Um, to my, can, I, can I share something with you? Go ahead. I don't think I'm being played. And from my opinion, I think that this one is a Man trying to do the right thing. Yes. If he want to do the right thing, why don't he divorce? Hmm. That, that's all I'm asking, you know. To do the right thing, it means that you need to divorce. From my opinion, I don't think, I think you don't want to just, you know, hurt this lady's feelings like this. So he is waiting for this lady 
to, to subtract herself then. Because, let me, tell, let me tell be honest, what she told me is that the, the, before the man even met me, the man let her know that he's going to seek something, some, some another person, based on the fact he was misled. When he met this woman, this woman told him that she could have children. He established to the woman that he wants children and the kind of life he wants in a relationship. And this woman oh, okay, me get it now. Me get it now. Me get it now. Me get me get it now. I demand the problem. So me get it now. I demand the problem. Pardon? I got it now. The man is the problem. Why do you say that, Pastor? Let me be honest with you. All right? You see the same way how you're treating this woman now? Yes. Just have room so somebody's going to treat you the same way, yeah? All right, let me ask your honest opinion now. Pastor. Please. You establish, you come into a relationship with a person, and the person tells us, yes, I can have children, knowing that they cannot have children. And I'm going to say again, and I'm going to say again, I am going to say again, why don't he divorce her? That's all I'm asking, you know. If it is that she was deceiving him and then it now reached to this point, it is ground on which he can say, listen to me, this marriage is now over. And the best part of it is there's no children. So this within six months, him divorce. And if him finding problem, to divorce because him can't find the money. You now need to step up and use the royal money that you have. Mm. When I was married to a young lady and she decided to do road and leave, I tried my best to hold on to her and she said, no, it's over. When my wife came in my life, Michelle, the one that is here now, I was actually married to the next one on paper, you know. And Michelle was married on paper. Michelle was doing 20 years of married. I was doing six. And when we come together, serious, when we came together, we were in a relationship and we were spiritually married, but we were physically married on paper to somebody else. And within two years, God free Michelle and God free me. I know the two we married together. What I'm pointing out is very simple. Michelle took some of her money. Because Michelle was me, you know. And then Michelle paid the first money for free me. And I'm saying now that even if the woman, believe, you believe that the woman was being decept, decept, deceptful or deceitful mm -hmm. or deceptive. And the man is now in a situation like this. And the good up, good up man come to you. The good up, good up man should now say, listen to me. I am going to divorce her based on the fact that I was deceived. And then you guys can live together. That shouldn't be a problem. That is only that is where the problem comes in, you know. Huh? Being an ex obam being an ex obia man, I say you know about tying and when people is it that easy to walk away yes. from something you were bound to? If you if you know the truth, Master. listen carefully. Do you listen carefully? Where is the man? Um, in the now, though. Okay, fine. This is what I'm going to say to you. If you should ask the man to pray with you, I'm going to teach you how to pray so that he can know how to pray. You see, once you pray, eternal God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every individual will tie me in the realm of the spirit. I release myself from these clutches right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, the good part is the man will be free. The bad part is if you are in, is he is in your clutches, he will also be free from you. Well, then you should not be, have a problem to teach him or what I teach you a while ago. Because what is going to happen? If it is that your hand is also dirty. Okay, fine. Let us talk a little ghetto thing. So you are saying that she used her hand to get him. And you use your good word to get the man. No, I never said that to no. 
No, no, no. They may want to understand what is the difference between you and her. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. I get what you're saying now. So this is how we are gonna pray. This is how we are gonna pray. You ready to pray with me? Yes. Let me tell you the consequences doing now in praying. When you pray like this, listen carefully. This is the consequences, you know. Listen carefully. This is the consequences. If it is that, this relationship, I can understand what you're going through, you know. Because you have a thing with them called self. And self sometimes get rid of some situation. Like, for instance, the other day, my wife is going through menopause. We, she reached that age. And self would have want me to go a road. And trust me, I go a road. Flirting and everything. But then, common sense chipping back. Oh, we are human being, you know. Common sense chipping back. I me evaluate everything and I said, why should I go a road and me have a good thing I had? Self chipping now, you know. I me start evaluate back everything. And then I start cancel, listen, I calculate everything. The person that I am going to get involved with, yeah, have nothing bring to the table except our front. What are you bringing to the table? So you're going to give this man children? Yes, if me and this man is supposed to be, that is what a relationship you have kids, you grow together, you serve God. So the only thing you bring into the table is children? No, no, no. I what? No, I'm giving you an opportunity to talk what you bring into the table. All right, this is what I'm going to say to you now. This is what I'm going to say to you now. Turn on the table now. We're going to turn the table. We're going to turn the table. We're going to turn the table. All right? So you are now the wife. You are now the wife. How much children you have now? One child. Okay, fine. So you have one child now? Yes? Yes. Okay, fine. The question I'm going to ask you, male or female child? Female. So you have one child, which is a girl child. Yeah. yeah. Now, picture this. Let's just say your daughter grew up. How old is your daughter, by the way? Twelve. Okay. So let's just say your daughter grew up and now faced with a situation like this. How would you deal with it? Where she come to you and say, Mommy, somebody is in my relationship. And X and X and X. How would you deal with it? All right. So this, I try to look in the situation of the other female to see if I am unfair. If this man have a good wife and I am presenting myself as an obstacle. But when I look in the situation and see a man has to work, come home, wash his own clothes, cook food for the lady that is sitting at home for the entire day, do all these things, being totally deprived. That is what I keep on looking at, you know. So the question I now ask is very simple. Why doesn't he yes. divorce her? And that's what I'm saying. May I go ask you one question? Yes. May I go ask you one question? Yes. May I go ask you one question? Because if him not have no children involved, that means the properties must involve. Yeah. The woman have her house? They, they have house. The woman have her house, yes or no? Yes. Okay, fine. The woman work? No. The woman have her car? What is it that the woman possesses? Only the house? Yes. Okay, fine. So let me ask you one question now. 
if it is that the woman have a house, the man feed this woman, work and feed this woman. Yes. I beg to differ here. The woman have a business. No. She doesn't have a business. No. And the man had the problem here. Something not add up. The man just have an extra free pump pump on the side, and that's what you decide to be. You decide to be eager. Him not left in Sarah here. Pastor, yes. We're, we're, ready to marry him. Never ask you one question. Never ask you one question. One question never ask you. One question never ask you. One question never ask you. What is your purpose in a relationship? Purpose is to stand beside this man as a other half. And then if you're standing, listen to what you say. You're standing beside the man as an other half. So if you're playing the role of the other half, you know, just continue to get your, look, your joke around and stay around, man. Why are you interrupting the wife at home? Now you say I play the helpmate. You say you help. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. You decide to play the role of a matey. You decide to play the role of a matey, so all of a sudden you have it on wife, you know. Just hold for me, please. Just, just hold for me, please. Just hold for me, please. Eternal God, I come to you right now for clarity because based upon what I say right now, I'm not seeing clarity. And so, Father, this is not a state show. And so, Father, every spirit that is on the platform that is not of you, every comedic spirit that is on the platform that is not of you, I come against it right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I send it back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, the question I'm going to ask you is very simple. Very simple. Yes. Very simple. Yes. Let's just say this man decided to divorce and married you. Now, the question I'm going to ask is very simple. We are talking about the same man who you said, Pastor Kiar Comfy married the woman. Are you saying that the man and the woman is, was married? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hold on, 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 hold on. Because two different things we are talking about. Know. Holy Ghost, thank you. Because I made it up in my flesh, you know. But Holy Ghost, take over now. Listen carefully. According to what you say, you say the woman care pastor come at the yard to marry the man without him consent. That's what you said, don't. Yes. So are you declaring that the both of them is now married? I'm going to ask you a question. Did you know that in order for you to marry, you have to sign a paper that is called... Um, yes. Huh? Yes. So did the woman force the man or forge the man's um, signature or the pastor um, sign the paper for the man? The man, the man signed it. The man is a ass. If the pastor is the one who forced him for married and him sign over him right to the woman, the man is a damn ass. And then, pastor, you cannot say that because you know what? That's why I keep on asking you. When you're tired, man, when you was an ex phobia man. Listen carefully. You know and I tell you how. Listen carefully. And I tell you how to free the man. And I tell you how to free the man. Does it work? 
I'm going to ask you one question. I'm going to ask you one question. Didn't I tell you how to get the man free? Yes, I know. Damn fool, fool. Okay. Yes. Listen to me and listen to me carefully. This is what I'm going to say. All right? This is what I'm going to say. You see the seed where you sow? If you don't reap it, your offspring will. And this is where generational com curse comes in. All right? This is where generational curse comes in. Now, one thing I'm going to say again, and this is what I'm going to say, and then end the conversation. If the man truly mean you good, or you come off, if the man truly mean you good, the man would divorce the woman and come to you. Now, for the man not to come to you, it means that you are only an extra pum pum. So the man is now playing a smart role. Him now get she, the wife, and get you, the side chick. And the man alone are rejoicing. You know, when him play up in a you and go back home to the woman. So who look like an idiot now? No, serious. The man playing you and get an extra pum pum. The two are not being played. You come here. You come here. Put your head on the block for the man. And the man now putting your head on the block for you. If, listen to me. If me get involved with a woman right now, I me love the woman and no love Michelle anymore. Me divorce Michelle. I me gone to the woman. I repeat. Any day if me get involved with a woman. And it happened that me love the woman more than me love Michelle. Me, divorce Michelle and gone to the woman. But I know that's the problem. I know that's the problem. You know? Here, what is the problem? Here, what the man is the problem. The man have an extra pum pum on the side. And the man have beat you and a beat she. And then you say, yeah, the man help me. It. So you're helping out the wife. You're matey. Your wife help me. It. That's what it means. The man help me. It. The wife he help me. It. So you decide to play wifey role. I didn't um make the role. Now go and take your a road man and take a road and leave the woman in the yard. That's all you need to do, you know. Leave the woman in the yard and go and take your a road. Now you are take your a road. Take your a road. Go eat your power hotel or something. And leave the wife a yard. And you plan for turn me you know. So turn me to man and take your killies. A road man and nobody contact the woman. Where you contact the woman for? And if the woman even contact you, have little respect, man. The least you could have said, listen to me. I did not know. He tell me that he was not married. And just excuse me out of the relationship. I'm just saying. Have little respect, man. Have little respect. Cause if you was that good, like what you claim say you're that good, the man would have divorced her already. A two thing make the man no divorce already. Cause you're not the material that he desired. I mean, I ask you. Please, 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 please. I hear the problem. Please let me talk to him. I don't nah see you on my platform because I think you're gone. Send me back a request. Please. I'm going to teach him how to break the curse. If you believe... Okay. What is your name again? What is your name again? What is your name again? Because I don't nah see you on the platform. What is your name again? What I want you to do is to log off of the program and then send me back a request and I'm going to look for you, put you on. And then I'm going to teach you. I want to talk to the man, you know. Because if him tie, we're going to pull him tonight. Right. If him tie, we're going to pull him tonight. Right. Yes, man. And if him tie, we're going to pull him tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Fine. 
For those of you that are here, we have a pressing matter. Amen. In the meantime, we are going to ask these individuals. We have a pressing matter. If the man tie, we need to pre we need to pull him tonight. Hello? Elaine? Yeah, how are you doing? How are you doing? You want to say something to us? No, I'm just here listening. All right, big up yourself, Elaine. Actually, you sent me a request. That's why I may put you up here. But the request coming by accident, it seems. All right. All right. Okay, so the royal princess is back. Hello, sir. I'm back, 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 back. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. So the gentleman is it, the man is there? Yes, yes, the gentleman is here. Good evening to you, sir. All right, good evening. It is my belief, or should I say, it is the belief of um, Royal Princess. Can I call you Royal Princess? Yes, sir. I, it is the belief of Royal Princess that you were tied by someone. Is this so, sir? Okay, you don't know if you're being tied, but you you believe that something went wrong. Yeah. All right, forget about that. Forget about that. You want to leave the relationship with the, the, the um your wife? Yeah, no problem. I, I, I would do so. You would do so. Yes, circumstances. Okay, fine. So you want to leave the wife then? Yes, sir. sir. Because you already do, you know, you already leave her already. Because if you're at this woman house, and you're on this program. That means that you already leave her alone. And trust me, I think it's the best thing for the woman. Now, what I want to say to you is very simple. Why is it that you don't do the divorce process? Because you are the problem, you know? Sir? Yeah, go ahead. I'm hearing you. Are you are the problem, you know? Why is it that you don't divorce? Why you don't have the money to do so? I don't know much it costs. I'll All right, stop right there, so let stop right there, so stop right there, so stop right there, so uh, royalty. Yeah, can you use some of the king money and divorce the man for you? That's another issue, you know, and the money are issue. No? Okay, fine, so stop this, so stop, stop this, stop, stop this, so stop this, so stop this, so. so my brother. Royalty saying that nothing is the issue because she have the money and she ready for free up. Now, because you want free up and royalty want free up, me have a divorce lawyer up on speed dial. Can I send her number to you? Okay, fine. Because I strongly believe that you are doing the woman a favor when you come out to her life because you're one selfish man, you. Why you say that, Pastor? I'm talking to the man, ma'am. Listen to me. I'm talking to the man. I'm talking to the man. Are you telling me that the man is such a wimp so that he can't talk back to me? First thing you need to understand is very simple. Repeat with me. Eternal God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come in your presence right now. And I ask that you free me. From my, wife. from my wife. If I'm tied in at the realm of the spirit, the realm of this divorce, us right divorce us right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And God, if this relationship that I'm in now is not of you, put an enmity between me and this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But if it is your will, let it be done. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
How old are you? I'm 47 years of age. How old is the wife? Uh, she is 60, going to 61 now. Now I understand why, man. You see, you man, right, man like you. Eh? You're young. The woman take care of your nasty ass. And uh, when she deserves you now and ready for you, you park her. If you're younger, very, you don't deserve one another. They wash up and they wash up. The two only deserve, deserve one another. This woman, this woman never take care of this man. And you can't, can't tell me that. Answer. You can't listen tell me that. Listen you carefully. You think you listen think that? Listen carefully. The two only deserve each other. Me not jump to jump to cut. Listen to me. The two only deserve each other. Two. Listen. When I pray a while ago. When I pray, when I pray, when I pray a while ago, what did I ask God to let the spirit of truth come forth? That's what I asked God. And I jump to conclusion. That's what you. That's what you say. Listen carefully. When he was much younger, when he was much younger, the woman was his sugar daddy. No. Oh, oh, oh question, question. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Can I, can I, can I talk to your son? Can I talk to your son? Can I, can I talk to your son? Can I talk to your son? Can I talk to your son? Let me talk to your son. Let me talk to your son. No, the man that is there is your son. Let me talk to your son. No, it's not my son. They know, they know. Are you ruling me now? So let me talk to your son. All right, let me talk. Let me talk to your man. Let me talk to your man. Let me talk to your man. Let, let me talk to your man. So let me talk to your man. Um, sir, 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 sir. Question I'm going to ask you is very simple. How long you and this woman have been together? Eight to nine years now. The question I now ask is very simple. When the time you guys were involved, at any time she was working? Yes, she was working. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. So she reached the age now where she now decide to go and um, what you call retirement. Because some people go retirement at 60. She's now 61. So she go retirement now. All right? Um, the question I'm going to ask now the one that you know are going to married. This one here. How old she is? Seven. Huh? 37. 37. I think I'm this. So you do a trading. You do a trading. You carry the old vintage and you get a Lamborghini. The Lamborghini is going to leave your road here. Liar, tell Pastor. Liar, tell Pastor. You jumped to your conclusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loud mouth. Yeah, yeah. Loud mouth. Lamborghini is no, going to no, leave no, your road. Then no, that's why I'm here telling him where I go up to him. That's why I'm here telling him where I go up to him. The question I'm going to ask now is very simple. Listen carefully. The question I'm going to ask now. Father God, let the spirit of truth continue to reign. The question I'm going to ask now is very simple. Um, Royal. Yes. What type of work you do? I'm a businesswoman. I'm an entrepreneur. I figure more or less. All the people in my back road are entrepreneur too. So be more specific. What kind of work you do? I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I did not say that. I am just saying. Cause when me, the last time I got a cat, uh, last time I got back road, I can't machine me for you, you know. So I entrepreneur around here. May I ask you a question? 
that before we get saved, listen carefully, before we get saved, leave me alone, man, before we get saved, I can't machine run it. What me ask, and chopping no run it. What I, me ask you a question again. Me go ask you again. Me go ask you again. What type of business do you do? All right, thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I wish you both the best. Trust me, I wish you both the best. And I'm glad. I didn't hear the question, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Are these people now operating under their natural spirit? The man was no. The man was no. Be free. Listen carefully. You don't hear me show the man how to free himself. A pastor, let me tell you again where you go wrong. You jump to conclusion. You judge after your own understanding. Let me tell you something. Just like how you said, no, no man wants sugar, mama, and sugar daddy. Enough of them. Big man here. Them already live them life and live them tears. And then see some little humble youth are out there and they want to compel them because they might get So the question me ever asked no. The question look for a partner, you know what they might look for? You know what they might look for? Yes. The word where they call it, where people take care of you. You understand? So let me ask you one question now. Let me let me ask you one question now. Let me ask you one question now. Well, let me ask you one question now. According to the man that you have there. According to the man that you have there, he said he's in his late forties. Yes. Okay. How old is he? Than you? How old are you? He is. Ten years. Okay. Ask him now. How old the next woman is to him? Over thirteen years. Now listen carefully. What is going to happen to you? Are the man may I talk to now here? What is going to happen to you? You see, when you need this woman most, when you need her most, I pray that she change, you know. I pray that she change. But you say, no, she's a Lamborghini. She make woolly panice, but she's not doing no road. You see, the woman that you're leaving, the vintage, you see, the, I don't mind me to talk to man. You see, the vintage that you're leaving, she's more caring and loving. And that's why you ask not divorce it, you know. And you know all these things. I would I would advise you. You see the head top where she had you now? Take it and go back home here. Go back home to what pastor? Where you asking him to? I, I won't say anything else. It was man and him can even sit down and study the word of God together. So where you asking him home to pastor? Then the question I'm going to ask you now. Can you sit down and talk to him about God with this as Every day, all day. Which God? Which God? If God do me and you serve, if you serve the true almighty God. My God is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I don't know which God you serve. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is my Lord. My I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. One thing I'm going to ask you do. Um, young man. See it? Are you afraid to tell him to answer me? Backside, you no, can't troll him already. Me need a ear. I, oh, I hear in need. Me need man. Me need hearing need. I hear in need. Me need. I hear in. I hear in need. Me need man. All right, relax, 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 relax. Let me let me talk let me talk to your your, your your gentleman. Let me talk to your gentleman. The question I'm going to ask you is very simple. All right. The question I'm going to ask you is very simple. The house that the the wife is at. Whose house is it? Is it? Whose house is it? Thank you. You hear that, dainty girl? Okay. Um, I wish you know the boat. You know what I'm a prayer for? No, no. 
eternal God. Yes. In the name, by the way, you never answer. Yes, I know. Yes. Okay. Yes. Eternal God. My brother, repeat with me. Eternal God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come in your presence right now. And if this relationship between me and Royal is of you, let it be done. But if it is not your will for us to be together, separate us in the realm of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Royalty. Yes. No, no, no. I am for talk. Royalty. Royalty. You have no power for me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Of Christ of Call your wife's name now in your mind. You have no power for me. No in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Of I am my own God. I am my own God. I am my own God. I, I, I don't understand what you're saying this time. What you're actually saying is that I am the God of my own life. In other words, nobody no control you. Okay, because I am not a God no right now. So I am the God of my own life. All right, fine. You don't want to use that word. I am in control of my own life. I am in my control of my own life. I am in control of my own life. Okay, fine. Which word do you want to use? Jehovah God. Okay, we use this word then. Jehovah God. I rededicate back my life to you. We can work with that, don't. I rededicate back my life to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay, fine. Now, for the young lady that is here, the 37 year old one, what's your name again? Royalty. No man, I the spirit, I the spirit, I the spirit in a me man. No agree with the spirit in a you. I the spirit in a me man. No agree with the spirit in a you. With your spirit, can your spirit look like it's stronger than my spirit? I know me if you be true to you know. Listen carefully. I know me if you be true to you know. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. I know me if you be true to you know. Who you be true to is God and and this man. And this man, because there is going to come a time when he's going to need you most. And I pray that when he needs you most, you know, go away from him. Richest blessing upon the both of you. All right? And that comes sincerely. And listen to me. Now that you can, now that you have so much business, what I'm going to do is ask you to um call me. 337-6685. You don't have any conversation with me now. Just call me so that I can give you the lawyer and speed dial. Okay. Yes, man, that's it. Yo, this is royalty. I'm me send the number come give you because you would be doing this woman a favor here when you take this man out of her life. All right, richest blessing upon the both of you. No, 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 no. Listen carefully. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I tell you early on that I can, agree. I can listen carefully. First thing to comment. Let me shed some light on my own relationship. My wife is six years older than I am. Six years older than I am. And my wife is going through what we call menopause. Now, this is where everybody's going to go, including you, one day. All right. Now, when a woman is going through menopause, menopause means she take a pause from penis. That's what it means, you know. Taking a pause. Me take penis almost all of my life. 
So me pass from it now. So me pass from man. So me rest in my body. Now, the reason why I'm glad that this man is going to divorce and come to you is because of the fact that when this woman drive back out, eh, he won't be able to keep up with her. Now, the reason why I'm saying this to you is because I find myself in a similar situation where my wife going through menopause and there are times when I'm out of road flirting and then make it up on myself. And that is why I can understand why you would have get caught up in this. But what I'm saying is that if he truly care for you, then he should divorce her and come to you. That is my standing point, you know. And that is what I say from day one. Because I go to the point where I tell you, if I get um, involved out of road, and it happened that me love the woman out of road more than Michelle, I will be divorcing Michelle and go a road to the woman. I tell you that. And you hear me say that already. Pastor, you flirt. Joseph, top the bullshit. All that we flirt. Man and woman flirt. You never know that. That's why we pray constantly. Some of you go on like you don't have no feelings. You know? Some of you know. You see, you see, let me not go there. I am not one of those self-righteous creatures who come here and condemn and roll a condemn. All of us have our sins. Yes? Now, listen carefully. Pastor, she did not come to you as a pastor. We seeking you as a Oberman. Well, fine. I can understand that. It doesn't really matter how she come. She come. But what I want you to understand is very simple. Listen carefully. We seeking you as a Oberman. Okay. Oh, he said, we seeking you. By the way, royal princess, you know this woman on the live here who call herself Jill Sab? No, I don't know her. Oh, we seeking you as a Oberman. Okay, fine. I don't see no Oberman. I come to you as a pastor. I come to you as a pastor. I just open up an argument. I don't see no Oberman. No Oberman I don't seek. No, no. Now, the reason why I say this, I don't know what that person wants. Uh, that person is a little bit too enough. But what I want you to understand, listen to me carefully. Young lady, this is what I'm going to say to you. All right? You're at a point now where you said that this man is 10 years older than you are. 10 years older than you are. And anytime you're 10 years older, may I talk to him now? Me can be a little up, you know. Because I feel numb for turn up, you know. I feel I'm good food for turning up, you know. Anytime you're 14, people, you're like this. 14 year old, like this. 15, like this. 25, you're like this. And when you reach 30, you're going down. So I know him. I go down now. Yes? Now, the question I go ask is, when Lazarus dead, what are you going to do next? Um, relationship not just based on sex, man of God. So why is it that you think that this one were him involved in a base of our sex? You notice me ask the man if the house belong to the woman and he say yes? Huh? Question I'm going to ask you do. Question I'm going to ask you do. Did you know that you have more than one side to a story? I speak to this woman on the phone. Look here now. 
when this woman called me on the phone, I questioned her. I said, before the man met me, has this man ever been in dialogue with you about going outside? She said, yes. The man come and let her know. I said, listen, I told you I wanted a child and you deceived me. You make me, know, you make me think that so you could have given me children. And you can't, after you get me to marry you, that is when you're going to expose your sickness to me, your, 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 your incompetence. That is when you expose all these things to me. Being a good man, I'm not run with you, but I make you know that I want to see you with. What I told you that I wanted, I still wanted it. Now, Mark, you never in that picture them time you know, when the man had tell her, I said, you ever see somebody else, even though I not going to left you desolate. I am going to still need somebody else because I am a young, active man with my desire and my needs. This is what the woman tell me out of her mouth. So no. basically, you get the blessing of the woman. No, I don't get the, the blessing of the woman. Yeah, because if the woman tell you out of her mouth, so you can't have him. Don't the, the, the woman tell you so you can't have him? No, she don't tell you so she can't, I can't have him. Okay. So the question I know asks is very simple. The question I know asks is very simple. Listen carefully. The question I know asks is very simple. If you are so caught up with this man, and this man is now so caught up with you, and the both of you are at your house right now, why is it that you call? Pardon? Why is it that you, 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 you come on the platform? Yeah, I understand that. I understand that. But why bring why why bring this to the platform? Right. And number two, me I talk to you about the fake pastor them. We are involved in a practice because a pastor not supposed to marry somebody before counseling. And that's why you ask me now what the man is to me. I start if I've been on my business pastor, I'm telling you. Are you listen to me, lady, 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 lady? If you never come on the platform with your business, I couldn't in your business. And when me see the truth, me talk the truth. You decide to be a, listen to me. Did you know that every vehicle car, according to um, regulation, every vehicle car, five um, tire, depending on the, on the vehicle, it carry an extra tire, a spear. It is called a spear. It is called a spear. Yes. The question I'm going to ask is very simple. The question I'm going to pass is very simple. Listen carefully. Mm -hmm. In order for the man to be married to this woman, a paper of to sign, it is called um a marriage certificate or a marriage license have to be signed by two witness so is the, was there two witness at the wedding no the pastor uh, 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 and, and, and the woman listen carefully i'm going to say it again was there two additional witnesses at me no want to talk to you let me talk to your husband let me talk to your man sir this is your story. So let me ask you. I don't want to ask she. She wasn't there. Let me ask you. Was there two witnesses at your wedding? Was there two additional persons at your wedding who signed the paper? Yes or no? Huh? Yeah, two additional Two additional person was there who also signed the paper. Yeah. Yeah. So you're telling me that your wife would have tied you and the two additional person to sign the paper? Don't know what Sir, you're talking bullshit. 
If it is a case that you want to leave out of the marriage, do it with honor and dignity. Please, and be a man and man up. I want to leave the relationship. Say that, and I can understand that. That I can understand. Because you want to have child, and it is with this relationship is not possible. So you want to jump and come over. That I can understand. But sir, please do not bullshit me. So what are you talking is bullshit. When you tell me, say, two other person was there, but yet still you was tied. I, I never say, um, no, um, I, I was tied. I know, but I never mentioned that to you. But Lord Mord, sister. Did you know about the, the marriage? Did you know about the marriage? I never know about the marriage. Let me ask you a question. If you come home, I me tell us I'm prepared dog shit, you know me? No. Okay, fine. So if you come home, by the way, let me not go there. Thank you for intelligence, God. Uh, the question I'm going to ask you, when you come home, what clothes were you in? Um, I take off my working clothes and I go to the bathroom to be in. Yes. And what, were, what did you marry in? So may I go ask you one question? What did she marry in? Yeah, my as, as well. Okay, so that's a smart move because you married because you didn't want to have a big wedding, which is understandable because in the last now. So I let them the money that go down the drain. So it's a good move. But the question I now ask is very simple. Did you sign a marriage certificate? I do sign. So you are legally married? Okay, fine. So this is what I want you to do. I want... By the way, the woman have any children? Yeah, two. She have children? Yeah. So she's not barren? Oh, she's not barren. Okay. I was led to believe otherwise, though. I thought she couldn't have children. Period. I didn't know that she was because she older. So the question I know ask is very simple. What guarantee you... By the way, how long is this relationship between you and Loudmouth? No, I'm not named Loudmouth, Pastor. I'm not named Royal, just like you know, so call me. All right, Royal. Uh, what, what the, no, man, Loudmouth, where they call you? Um, what they, what, when they told me, call you royalty. Did you know the royalty not talk loud? It's a part of them protocol. Them not talk loud. Them, 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 something to talk for them. Now, may I go ask you a question, my brother? How long you and this woman, this one here in a relationship? Uh, here, here and she not breathe already? Yeah. And she not breathe already? So what give you the, no, um, what's your name? Royalty? Yes. After one and a half year, are you not breathe already? You sure you can jump start again? Breathe, so why are you not breathe now? Because this situation. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You didn't know say who breed of the baby and who breed of the man. What you need to do? Hello, she giving you a six for a nine here. Yeah? You playing butter pancake here because let me tell you something. Chan, how are you going to take pill? So is it that you take pill or, the, or one or one? Listen carefully. You they are blame the man. You sure the man's sperm count good? Because after six, after one and a half year, you know how much baby could a man with that? You didn't have the time, eh? Two nines, eighteen. Master, you know, you know, I don't understand you. You know, you're not know, you know, speaking straight. You act like a careless people where people don't plan. Well, on, you come here to, I mean, you come here to cuss out. No, but when I see you, when I see you, uh, all right, fine. The man say I want a baby. Listen to me. That is the center of the whole thing. The man say I want a baby. Yes or no? And, and, and that merit, you are planning for any relationship. And the man are planning for any relationship and that merit. So if it is that the man are planning for any relationship with the next one, can I want a baby? Your belly should post a push you now. No, we're getting somewhere. 
No, we're getting somewhere. So yeah, 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 what the woman say? Yeah, 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 what the woman say now? Listen carefully. Yeah, yeah, what the woman say now? So you now need to get money now and divorce yourself, yeah? Yeah, you hear me? But the man smart, because the man don't want a baby. The man don't want a baby. No. By the way, my brother, how much baby you have already? Him no want a baby here. Royal team no want a baby. I tell me, I tell you. Me not ask you. Me, all right, me, me ask him then. My brother. You really want to buy Pampas at the age of 40? Of course. Royalty, I know you may ask. The man may ask. My brother. You really want to buy baby at the um, pampas at the age of 40? Yet? Uh, really? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> but I see your note though. Royalty? Yes. Time I run out by you too, you know. Time Tell her, time I go. Time I go. So you need to give him money in Pitney. Me, since as you are chaffy, me I make sure, yo, my brother. Tell her it's a time ago here. So we did not spend. Okay, you have a baby already. So bop, 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 bop. Same like how time run up on she. Time run up on you. My brother. Don't make sure you have no fast one over you. Don't make sure you have no more pill. And don't make sure you tell about no condom. Here. Beer back where you go. And we don't do no pull out either. Baby we want. I'm a child. No, man, I'm a minister of the gospel, man. I'm not a pastor, man. I'm just a minister of the gospel. Yes. I know. Yeah, I know. So, if we are going to use that, they say the Mosa is smart than anything a man wants. So. All right. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I was waiting for. Spirit that you continue. So you hear what happened? You hear what the man said a while ago? And you ain't not giving him beating in time. He's going to find something else. Spirit that you talk. Thank you. Thank you. So you're so quiet now, Lord Mouth. <laughs> Big up yourself. <laughs> Yo, remember me telling you. Now, listen carefully for those of you that are here. You see, you may understand the realm of the spirit. This is what happened. When you were here talking royalty, I questioned God and I said, God, let the spirit that should be revealed. And then I ask you for some second and I pray. I want thing in with God, you know, anytime God take over, you know, man, the spirit of truth, of a talk. Because all of a sudden, man come from shop. And all of a sudden, man willing to come. Because this is not normal, you know, for a man come on the ear. And that, listen to me, ratings for you, you hear, man? Ratings for you. I give. Listen to me, I give you ratings. The very fact that you come here, I give you ratings. The very fact that you come here talking, I give you ratings. Because enough man wouldn't do that. So I give you ratings for that. At least. But what I want is very simple. I want the spirit of truth to continue to talk. You hear what the man say, royalty? If you feel to give me a child, I'm going to get somebody else. So time I run out by you. So you really want to keep the man? Well, I'm going to tell you something. I'm not at the most I work in a pastor. Yes. I'm going to ask you again, though. I'm going to ask you again, though. Do you really want to keep the man? Yeah, the man said, listen what the man said. If it is not the wife giving him a child, and if it's not you, I somebody the hells. So all you need to do, this is what I'm going to say. Make peace with the wife. Make peace with the one that is coming. And they all three are going to service the man. Here, come on, shot. Pastor, you know, I'm going to ask you a 
question. Yes, ma'am. So it is right for a woman, right? For 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 for, for arrange one married, married one man. And this is no married. different. This is no different. No, let me finish up, please, no sir. Yes. And then when the paper sign, and your name, wife, man, paper, you don't, you don't assume no wife duty. You stop wash. You stop cook. But stop. this is no different. What you're doing again is no different because here is it that you now put up the man on social media and have the man denouncing his wife on social media. So even if the Dalios mash up between you and him, him can't go back home you know, when the wife see this at tape. You know? Or when the neighbor see this at tape you know, and show the wife, him can't go back home. You know? So what make you different from him, from the next one? Because you are now taking social media, bullying him and taking him. Because if I, w listen to me, if, if the wife was my sister, him couldn't go back home. Him couldn't go back home. Okay. The reason why I said you're bullying him, listen carefully. You were the spear tire from ever since, yes? No now you say the help me, the help me is the spear tire. No, God said the wife is the help me. That, that man, woman makes a man for the help me. And that the Bible says, sir. Bible. Let, let, me, let me see if I get this straight. Let me see if I get this straight. Let me see if I get this straight. You know what is a help me? Help me, a woman. And that the Bible says, a woman created for man. And what she created for, for me to help me. So I'm going to get chapter and verse. For Go ahead. <coughs> let, me, let me help you with it. It is Genesis 2 verse 21. Read it. Starting from the 18th verse. Genesis 2, 21. Um, 18. And the 21 verse is what you need. Starting from the 18th verse. Because <coughs> you must think so somebody when you know them Bible. Okay. Okay. But on a serious note though, on a serious note, if you really want to give him a child, you need to work on my brother. Don't make sure you give her a six for a nine. We're working from it from tonight. We are working on it, yeah. Now make sure you talk in front of the man the royalty. We are working on the baby tonight. You finally help me already, or you don't want to go back there? Master, you know the chapter, you know the chapter two. Okay, we're fine. Not your context, you know it, sir. We're not going to go back in our Bible. Okay, we're not going to go any further, though. I wish the both of you all the best. And I really believe that the woman of the yard, the wife of the yard, deserve much better than this wimp. You notice me talk in front of you, me not take you off, me talk in front of you. No? I really believe because he's not man enough to tell the woman that the relationship but done. You know, you know, uh, no, you know, you know, answer me, you know, pastor, and you sound like an hypocrite. Me ask you, say, if your son come home, come tell you, say, he may quote one woman and he come from work. Stop right there, sir. 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 Let me talk back to the to the man. Let me let me talk back to the man. Let me talk back to the man. The question me ask you is very simple. How much years of marriage do you have? Okay. How much years of relationship do you have? Relationship with? With the same woman. Your nine wife. Years. Your wife. Nine years. Nine years. Huh? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. So nine years of relationship. Nine years of marriage. Yes? Perfect. Okay, fine. Okay, thank you, please. And at the time when you're married, how old were you? Okay, you said you, okay, you said, what was your age now? 
So at the time you married, nine and two, um, you were 37 when you married. 38 when you married. 38 when you married, eh? Okay, roughly 38 when you married, 37, 38. So that means that uh, you was a big ass grown man. Because the Bible tells us, uh, you now in the Bible, the, the, um, the, 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 the government of the country tells us, uh, by the time you reach 16, you can have sex. And by the time you're 18, that is the next bullshit. Because, oh, you forgot to make baby and then you can't work until you're 18. So who oh, mind the baby when you make the baby 16? That is the next bullshit. That is, them sitting there with design to keep you in a poverty, you know. I'm just saying. Now, the reason why I say this is because at the time of your marriage, you was 38 year old. Two eights, 16. So basically, you was double the age of the, um, the consent. So that you was a fully grown ass man. So lady, stop make excuse for, for your man here. Yeah? Stop make excuse for him. I mean now teach him how to get free. All right, so... Riches blessing upon the two of you, and God blessings upon you. All right? Tanya Stephen, have a song. Can I request it too, no? Why, if you take him back, <laughs> come take back your man. I'm just saying. Because you're going to send him back home, you know. You're going to send him back home. That was a free reading here. The last part was a free reading. Because you're going to send him back home. She's going to send him back home. Right now, I am the breadwinner and the meal ticket. So she have a sugar daddy now. But she's going to send him back home. I just pray. I just pray. That when he can't go, go work anymore, or when he's gone to work, somebody now squeeze you come over. I just pray. I just pray. For those of you that are here, richest blessings upon you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hello? For those of you that are here, if you send me a request, I'm going to put you up on the live. I am seeing requests and I'm putting you up on the live. I am not going to... Oh, it was a mistake. I can understand. If you come on the live, Richie. No. Wag one. You come for your reading too. Yes. Richie, me and your man. Richie, me and your man. Don't. Yeah, man. Uh, we have a little extra pump pump on the side. Don't you would have no mind take it, no? Yeah. But she don't know her place. She don't know that she has spear tire. Go on, support man. Why you think we put on spear tire? That's when we reach the nearest um, tire shop. We fix back the original tire and put it on back and take about the spear tree in the chunk. The man is the man is just playing games here. Yeah. Uh, and I don't and I don't and I don't rang him. Cause if you can't get two free pump pum, you know, take it. Yeah. I'm I am i am just saying. It means that your authority, both physically and spiritually, is now taunted or tainted. So what you need to do is to refirm back by praying first. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take back full authority over my life. 
Once you see your teeth drop out, it means that your your mouth structure represents you. You remember the Bible said life and death is in the spirit uh, in the um the tongue. So what happened is that when you saw yourself and you saw yourself with the teeth drop out, it means that your authority is now um, shattered. All right? So you pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take back authority over my life and I send back every spirit of darkness to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's all you pray. Okay. All right? That's why you need to take back authority because the spirit taking authority that means that the spirit wants to take you over. The spirit wants to take control of you. That's why I said take back authority over you. If I control you, don't I can do anything I want to do with you when I can control you? Because you know my puppet. Yes. Okay. So when the devil control you, it means that the devil is now in control of you. The devil wants the spirit of death now to take you out. Ah, now you understand what I'm saying? Yes, because that really makes sense to me. Okay. Um, I'm trying to really, I have to really, um, well, well, last year, last year, Okay. Okay. So what I want you to do though is to continue to use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and continue to pray and allow God to do what he's doing in your life. All right? All right. Richest blessings upon you, my brother. All right. Bless up yourself. For those of you that are here, welcome to the program. On this program, you're here for the first time. Welcome to the program. On this program, we talk about the three Jesuses. Listen carefully. There is three Jesus in your Bible. People, three Jesus in your Bible. What do I mean by this? If you go to Colossians 4 verse 11, that Jesus is called Jesus Justus. Well, Jesus' justice is a body man, straight across the board. Now, that is why you have people who call themselves Christian or call themselves um, child of God and claim to them are gay at the same time. This is the Jesus that they promote, Jesus' justice, all right? And then you have the next Jesus that is called Bar Jesus. Now, Bar Jesus is found in Acts chapter 13, verse 6. Well, people, as a farmer, Obia man, the Jesus that they used to use were Obia. And then I meet Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For those of you that are here, my name is Pimo Lee Smith, the farmer Oberman. And I did an um, interview with Sadika Diagram. He's a farmer Oberman. Yes, that's the same individual. Now, the reason why I'm saying this to you is because God sent me back and tell me now to teach you how to listen carefully. For you to have power over the spirit of darkness and take back authority over your life, you need the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The reason for this is very simple. Whenever people work in witchcraft on you, they use the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ. I repeat, when people work in witchcraft on you, they use the name of Jesus and Jesus Christ. And most churches today are working opia. And they don't even know. You get me? Most churches today, any church where you use olive oil and water, work in witchcraft and don't even know. Mark Stewart is one of the biggest Obia men in Jamaica right now. Gino Jennings is also an Obia man. I can continue. 
Listen carefully. I can continue. In fact, this is what I'm going to say. Any individual that is not using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I will bear them a work. Straight. And ask me, ask me, tell me, I tell you. Any individual that is not using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I obey them at work. Straight. So any church where you go, and they might use olive oil, them working with the fallen angel. And if they might use water, them working with the grave rim or the marine spirit. You get me? This is the word of truth. So if you're here, Elaine, you said, I send Elaine a request a while ago. You know. Elaine said I should put her up, so I send, him a, I send her a request. Let me see if she come. Well, for those of you that are here, this individual was here quite a while. Let me put up this individual. This individual was here quite a while. Let me put up this individual. Mark Stewart is also using salt. Thank you, please. Anybody where you use salt and water, and, uh, listen to me. Once, listen to me. Obey man. Simon. Simon? Simone, good night. Oh, it's Simone. Yes, good night. Um, greetings. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Simone. I, yes, I, 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 I want to ask you a question. Go ahead. Uh, because I've been having a issue for a number of years, and I do not want to seek advice anywhere else. Before you go any further, I'm going to ask you to pray. Go. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I put my life before you. I declare myself to be nothing. But Lord, I want to make to be something. I didn't move up to the Christ of God. Lord Jesus, I'm asking you to set me free, to release me from the chains that seems to bind me. I put myself, Lord, I declare myself, Lord, that I can do all things to you who give me strength. Okay, me get the answer already. Me get the answer already. You ready for the answer now? So you're not using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth regularly enough. That is your problem. You know that you're God, more peace though. I try to be, I try. I Trust try. me, you are. I'm not asking you, no, you are. You are my God, more peace. But when you're a spiritual lawyer like yourself, in other words, you're a JP. And so because you're a JP, you need a stamp. Every JP have a stamp. People, every JP have a stamp. The reason for this is very simple. If the JP write a recommendation and not stamp it, the stamp is no, the letter is no good. The recommendation is no good. And this is what is happening to you. Because you're called as a prayer warrior. But you're not using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth more often. That is your problem. And because of that, you are now tied up in the realm of the spirit. You have the heart to serve God. But because you're not using the name, the power is all in the name, woman of God. I'm going to ask you to pray again. Go. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, take control of every situation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I know that there is nothing impossible that you cannot do. And I declare right now that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you may set me free, that you may release me. So in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so you know to tell God, you now need to tell God about the situation that you're going to ask me about. And so if you don't want to talk about the situation, and so God, this situation that I'm going through right now, in the name of Jesus, I speak life into it. You get me? In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Me yes. not supposed to fix it for you now, you fix it for yourself. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. because you are the priest of your life. I feel your life, you fix your life. For those of you that are here, no pastor can fix your life. And stop, walk, and look some pastor for cursing, because okay? that's all I'm doing. Christ of, Nazareth. Christ of Nazareth. First thing you need to understand is that as soon as you said Jesus, all three Jesus come to you. The Obeman, the Batman, and the true Jesus. So without you using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the next two are going to push up themselves. Look upon it now. You are walk upon the road and three boys are looking you. But the one who keep cool enough, and him can't take care of you. Him not say nothing much more than him not slip you. Him number and say, yo, call me. The next two now, can't even buy you a lunch. But them have the audacity I come touch you up on the road. I come hug you up or I come touch your bottom. Buy me a lunch. Me can't buy me a lunch because I'm broke. Them I look sitting in front of you. I saw demons stay, you know. 
associated state. Can't help you, but them want to come show up them dirty color. Yeah, but after a little boy, we see so. We are so demon state. All of a sudden, they come up and, and the worst part, you know, and when them say somebody where you like, them are run, come show ownership. Don't touch me. For this individual who said your sister dreams you're dead in the dream, you need to shut it down. You did not die in the dream. Listen carefully. You did not die in the dream. The reason why you're going to tell yourself that you did not die in the dream is because the devil is using your sister to release it in the realm of the spirit. Somebody have to release it, you know. So she get the spirit, say so you're, you're dying at the, in the realm of the spirit. What she should have done is to pray against it. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I come against every spirit of untimely death in and around my sister right now. And you know should be praying against it as well. Because if you accept it, like oh, you come tell me now, my sister said, me dead in the spirit. Did you shut it down? No. Let come from this. Five years from this, you're dead. Learn to defend on yourself. People, learn to defend on yourself. And that is why this platform is here. We are here from Sunday, Mon um, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, four days of the week. And we are here from five o'clock in the evening. We teach people how to do spiritual deliverance, to deliver yourself. Amen? God riches blessings upon you. All right? Simone, big up yourself. All right. So let me put up somebody else. Paris. Paris, you need to start pray right now, Paris. Pray against the spirit of death. Please. Because if you don't pray against the spirit of death, Paris, um, Paris it's going to manifest in your life. We don't want it manifesting in your life. So pray against the spirit of death. So we are four Hello. hours and 30. Hello. Yes, ma'am. You want to talk to me? Good night. Good night to you, ma'am. Greetings, Greetings to you yes, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. To you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Um, first of all, thank you for your program. And Richest blessings. Next thing, you are the first pastor I, I see speak that in, in Genesis, I, I, I remember I met a pastor consult and crash over the CF episode when he tried to tell me that it was actually sexual occasion why he had Cain and why the mix the sin and put him in the world and all of those stuff. I mean, I said to him, said, No, me, 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 read the Bible. Understand the Bible a different way from where you understand the Bible then. That's why my chat to tell me that me has things different from where you see things. So I didn't hear that part. What is it that you said that happened? Well, I'm, I, 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 you're the first pastor. I clarify it out. Said what? That when you said that um, the spirit, the spirit of the devil entered you and, and you can't see. The spirit of sex with Eve, you know. Listen carefully. When Jesus came here, when Jesus came here, Jesus cleared up everything, you know. Jesus said, listen to me. If you see a woman or you see a man and you think of the woman in a, any sexual manner, you would have, have sex with them in the realm of the spirit. You get me? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. They won't because they're my idiot. They won't because they're my idiot. And the next thing you need to understand as well, the next thing you need to understand as well is very simple. All right? Woman was not created from the ribcage of the man. 
That's a lie. If you want to understand what really happened, go to Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 27. Now, 27 is the key verse where it said, God said that he's going to create mankind in his own image. Now, then 27 said, yes, and then 27 said, he created them both male and female at the same time. Now, what they wanted to do, what they wanted to do was to promote that man can give birth. Why? Because they want to promote the spirit of homosexuality. A long time, homosexuality are reigning. And they wanted to promote the spirit of homosexuality. Listen carefully. When Paul came and talked about the woman should keep silent because she was not making the image of God, but in the image of man. What they're actually saying is that man can't hear from God, but woman cannot because women are jackets. Well, may I you know that? 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 Now, what I want people to understand is very simple. This platform is about the truth. Woman, you were not created from our ribcage because you were created in the image of God. And the same right where we have are the same right where Uno have. I want us to first stop believe the bottom and Gino Jennings. You know, Gino Jennings is our straight fish, wash up. We thank God that he professed Christianity now and we thank God that he gets saved. But only Batman alone promote Batmanism, you know. Only fisherman selfish. Fisherman! Only fisherman talk about fish. That is why you see Gino Jennings have so much long seed man on him platform. And no woman. Well, I don't wrong you. I don't wrong you. Listen carefully what Bible said. In the book of um, Joel chapter 2 verse 28, it said, After the birth, the death, and resurrection, I'm paraphrasing, After the birth, the death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and you accept him as your personal Lord and Savior, I am going to pour the Holy Spirit upon you. That is why Jesus Christ of Nazareth said, Go up to the upper room and wait for the Spirit. Now tell me something. When them tell us if you keep silent, of course you keep silent in the church of man. And of course you keep silent in the church of the devil. But I dare you when the Holy Ghost come up by you and God start talking to you, keep quiet. A tree church you have here? Tree cross represent tree church. People. So if the devil said keep silent in the church, you need to tap God the devil's church. And don't listen to me. Any church will keep you silent at the devil church that. Straight. And uh, any church will keep you silent. A man church because they want to. Listen to me. Why do you think they promote that a man is the head of the house? Let us, let us go to Bible. Let me tell you why. Did you know that Jacob have sex with his daughter-in-law, Tamara? But at the same time, Jacob was still called holy. So what happened is, whenever you have man promoting that man is the head, they are saying that women are troublemaker. And the devil is using woman against them. And so when them said the woman is a helpmate, they mean to say the woman is only the sex slave. You only dare for feed me, cook for me, wash for me, and keep me clean. And shut up. Don't say nothing. That's why they never used to educate woman before, you know. There is no such thing as a helpmate, ma'am. We are two equal. Listen to me. I married my wife. My wife wrote this or no. My wife wrote this or no. My wife wrote this or no. And then any day she chose to lift my house, I beg me to beg her to stay. That is no help me. Help me, it is my slave. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so help me, it is my slave. My wife is not my slave. Any or she are sleeping, cry me, I cry and beg her to stay. <laughs> Please don't leave me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, the reason why I say this, anyhow you're in a relationship and you feel like you are less of who you are, Left that damn relationship. I'm going to look somewhere else. Uh, one thing I can tell you about a woman, you know. Listen carefully. She's called Mother Hurt. You know what that mean? Oh, good God Almighty. She all have 29 pitney. And want next one come make 30. And somebody still want her. Still want her. What do you mean? Take her, and you go on. You go on. 
you give her 29 pitney and talk. Nobody know why you. Okay, fine. Left her ass, no? And see who, if somebody take, take up she and the 29 pitney and then give her one next one, make 30. Before you go any further, pray, 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 pray. Before you go any further, pray. Eternal God, let me help you pray. Eternal God, this is how you're supposed to be praying. The reason why you see a dead sister, listen carefully. The devil believed that the both of you was separated too long now. So the devil I used her spirit or her image to come to you. Notice what you said, my dead sister. So you accept, say, your sister. You now give the spirit of death the authority to kill you, to carry you over to your dead sister. So what you're going to do now is very simple. You're going to pray, eternal God. Eternal God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of I Jesus come against Christ. every death angel. I come against every death angel. Pretending to be my sister. Father God. Okay. That's all you pray. Somebody asked me a question. Do you believe that a, a, a woman can do what the guys do and still be a lady? First thing you need to understand, a man shouldn't be fucking around. And the woman shouldn't be fucking around. The Bible said, for this cause you leave with mother and father. And the two are you. One man, one woman. Straight. So nobody come tell me. Why you go and tell me, say, the man have the right to fuck around? No, he doesn't. So nobody come tell me foolish, but you can't have the right to be, a, you can't do what the man do and still be a lady. First thing, the man not supposed to fuck around. One wife, one husband. One husband, one wife. That's what the Bible said. Anything else than that? Is because of greed. Okay. Now, if you, if God, listen carefully. If God did promote that the man should have more than one wife, then we should have more than one God. You get what I say? Out of disobedience, ma'am. That is out of disobedience. Exactly. That is out of disobedience. That is out of disobedience. And if you go back and look in the Bible, I don't remember if it's the arm and the sin. I'll continue. Where the arm, the arm, the arm, the sisters. If a man can divorce his wife, a man has a legal and divorce his wife for any reason at all. Why did he say go back to the beginning? He was referring to Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, where he said, For this cause, you leave your mother and father and cling to your husband, and the two of you become one soul. People, one thing you need to understand marriage is for child of God. Marriage is not for the world, you know. Marriage is for the child of God, the children of God. Listen carefully. Marriage is not for everybody. The marriage was a was an example of the relationship between you and God. That is the marriage. So marriage is not for everybody. Marriage is for those who give God the authority over their life. Huh? Okay. So marriage is not for everybody. Any other question, ma'am? No, but you that deal with that already. You still want to tell me about your dream already? The devil I used the image of your sister to get you comfortable okay, to kill you. Okay. That and you're lucky down already. So why would you make you listen to me? The reason why I don't want you to come here and uh, you notice? Notice when people come here. I know I know I know ill mannered me, ill mannered. No, you already know this situation, don't now you have 460 and 60 and 61 person in the life. You don't want everybody to know your business. I say, you're going to know if you to talk to me. No. If you come to me and said X to me, I can't finish it. If you say A, I can't finish, go all the way down as Z. 
that means that I mean, I hear from God. Straight. If you come and say A, me must know which part of the letter of the alphabet to continue. So if you come and say A, B, C, me must say D, E, F, J, F, J, A, J, A, and can go all the way I don't have to Don't. I so you know when God talk to a person. So when you open your mouth and say, make it a vision book, me could I tell you exactly what the devil has planned. The devil is planning to kill you. So I just show you now how to shut it down. So I know like me no want to hear no business, you know. I know like me no want to hear no business. But if me hear no business, me can use reverse psychology. Because that's enough of what them do for you. On TikTok, use reverse psychology. Listen to it, you know what I say, and then you. But once you open them out and say, the, me, the Holy Ghost tell me exactly what you say, and then me talk. Then you can now tell me, say, you know, say, I lie, tell. You notice? But nobody did that because when you open them out, that is why you know, got, why you think we go through trial and tribulation? We go through trial and tribulation because when we go through the trial and tribulation, we learn. And when we learn through the trial and tribulation, we now come back and talk. If me never go through when me learn, me couldn't be able to talk like me I talk. Big up yourself. Amen. Me rather talk to who got through the situation when me I got through, you know. If you not go through the situation, don't come tell me nothing. Me no want to hear nothing from you. Because you never been in our me, you know. So, me sympathize with you. I don't want you to sympathize with me. Have you go through when I go through? No. So shut your rock stone mouth, man. I don't want you to find you. Hallelujah. Let's <laughs> come more. Okay, sir. I'm up this time. Same to you, ma'am. Yes, yes, Pastor. Good night. Good night to you. Yes, Who is this? Winsome? Yeah. Oh, you come back. Yeah, I'm going to come back long time. I listen to you, woman. Oh, Lord Mouth? Lord, man. Wait, man. Lord Mouth, so send my cousin when he's not work no more. But she's a unchopping over and this and this and this. Unchopping over my ass. Now, well, me not pray for them the spirit there now. I pray that the Lord remove it. That's why I tell the Lord if 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 the man is not of what he wants, then you mash up the relationship there too. Because she go mash up the people in relationships. You know, no say she go, listen, she come talk about them the woman is older than the man. So she you the man older than you too. So what's the difference? Yeah, but one day four, she's older too, and I know that's the problem. problem. I know that's the problem. He may not listen to me. That the woman they would have never left that the man there, you know. But she ever left him ass. Yeah, she ever left him. Of course. Because if I get weaker, don't don't know him line. I'll say, I'll, but there again, you know, even if he get weaker in the line, that is not the problem. Because right now, him get weak in the line and, and, he, and he's something that reserve chipping long time, you know. Mm-hmm. Reserve chipping long time, man. Mm-hmm. CJ. Reserve chipping long time, man. Cause the reason why him over there now because she eat him away from the wife, you know. CJ. Mm-hmm. And every trumpet you blow, you know. But you see, when the roll is called up, you and the trumpet of the Lord shall sound. So all the years she attack. Who the wife? This and the wife that. The reason why she she was able to talk all these things to the wife. You see, you have to understand with the wife, you know. The wife is secure in her lungs. Because yes. they look here with the she have to breathe through her lungs. So she don't want anything to go give her lungs eggs and loves that, that she got dead. But them young people, you know, them love blow blow. Yes. So when she talk like she are, are something that better than the wife when I was like, okay, fine, forget about that. Because I mean, no, say you're supposed to do oh, Bam bam and lollipop and all kind of thing. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> Tell him, say you want to leave. Tell him you want to leave. <laughs> Pastor, I have a question for you. God, God. So what is it? They have a question for me. Okay, let me ask you. Okay, lover, they say I have a question for me. Mm. 
Krishna. Lord God Almighty, man. Man scared, man. Man afraid her. A few business that no more and did it. And, and him tell her to a lie, you see? And then she load up her mouth over it and she, she's supposed to be ashamed of herself. Can't. You can't be ashamed of yourself, you know. The Bible tell you. you hear what the Bible tell you? When the spirit gets so bold, it means that the conscience smeared. Yeah, man. True, true. Lessons. Janet? Janet? I put up the person a while ago, but I don't hear them. Fifi. Hello? Melian. Melian? Melian. Hold on. You send me requests. All right. Go on, listen, go on, listen to the program. You know, look like you didn't want to come up. Go on, listen to the program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. Uh, try, try to get the Fifi faster. Fifi, can you send me a request? Can I send Fifi a request already? I didn't know come up. Tell Fifi to send me a request. Uh, one thing with this uh, program, you know, we're, not, we're not afraid to talk to nobody. You know. Can anything come here we talk about it? Sex, anything you can come here we talk about it. Uncensored, anything you can go. Why married man always find me attractive? Because you're attractive. The question is, do you find any attractive? And if it is that you find him attractive, please to leave the woman, pe pe woman husband him alone. Paul, what one? Is it, let me see, what is Pauline or Paula? I see the word P-A-U-L. What is the rest of the word? Is it Pauline? Let me see what one here. Or Paul McLean. Okay, so Paul don't want to talk to it. Let us disconnect Paul. Let us go here. We see some people. That's why we're going through. We see some people who send us um, requests. So we see some people who send us requests. So we're going through and accepting the requests. I'm about to go now, so it's made up on the program ten five hours, people five hours and some change. So I'm about to go here now. Lover Joseph, true lover, pastor, please answer me. Me put up them, but me not see them come up. Me put them up in but me not see them come up. Let me mute my mic and see your All right. Hello? Yes, Pastor, your voice is right here. Big up yourself, Prophet. Why one? Why I'm here, I got you and holding my challenges right. I'm a warrior, man. You do what? I don't know where much do. First thing you need to understand, you know. First thing you need to understand is very simple. Roar. Lion always roar. 
Well, you need to understand. The Bible tells us that you are the lion of the tribe of Judah. Yeah. You get me? So what you need to understand is very simple. Because you're the lion of the tribe of Judah, it means that you're going to be challenged by the look-alike. The Bible said the devil is like a lion. Yeah. Huh? And he comes to challenge the true lion. So one thing I want you to understand is very simply, you know, the devil always going to challenge you because the devil knows say, you are not going to sell it. You're not going to give in and you're not going to sell out. You get me? So you're always going to be challenged. Now, this is in line with Bible because the Bible said in Amos 3 verse 3, two can't walk until they agree. So the very fact that you and the devil can't agree and fight you for your space, it means that you are in control. Big up yourself. Go ahead, man. Stand in agreement with you, man. Go ahead. That's why I miss it. Go ahead with your prayer. Start and we, we pray together. We stand in agreement. Go. In the name of the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as I present myself before thee tonight, we break all things that are not of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that are around the know. So we come against every generational curses right now. And every generational curse is right now. That is assigned to, and you call your, 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 your surname, if you want. You can just call it in your mind. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so, Father God, I break every curse right now. So Father God, I break every curse. And every spirit that is challenging me for my authority. That is me for my authority. I consider them not right now. I consider them not right In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am the God of my own life. I am the God of my life. And as the God of my own life. I take authority over every spiritual being. I take authority over every spiritual being. In and around me. In and around me. And I send them back to the pit of hell. And I send them back to the pit of hell. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God. Father God. You are in control over my life. You are in control over my body. My home. And my spirit. Rain now. I rain now, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You see that the enemy is chasing me out of my home, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Do them make 36 names in you know, my house. If we go there, they see them enemy. I'm friendly. I send police coming, Jesus Christ, name of Nazareth. Oh God, we chop off every chain now, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Break them down and send them down back to the pit of hell, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wherever it is coming from now, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Upon me where I am, here in Christiana and brought to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I ask of you to chop it down, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Them seven will come from there, so they try to push me and destroy me about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They are in full control and authority of this life of mine. As I ask and continually to pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, from now on and forevermore, the most I God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I present this body, mind, and soul within your hand. I have no lack and part with no demons, no devil, no form of negative forces, no altars when they sit up against what break them down in Jesus Christ's name of Nazareth. Now, I pray and I ask of you. It's been a long while I've been going through these challenges and I need them to go cast them away tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Down to the dark pit of hell, down to show where we're sending you in Jesus Christ's name of Nazareth. Jehovah God bless me. Cover me. Right around me I want to set yourself around me. Create the armor around me to stop any force or any forces or any negative spirit that is trying to come across in Jesus Christ's name of Nazareth. We're really now, Jehovah God. 
Big up yourself. So the question I now ask is very simple. This is a physical and spiritual matter. Yeah. Okay, fine. Physical and yeah, man. Physical and spiritual matter. So you'd have dealt with it in the realm of the, um, the spirit. Um, question. Uh, um, it's a... Uh, the house is yours? No, it's a place for rent. And then a man come beside, you know, as a contract, and one of my woman, if I look back, oh. I like set the man to something, the man will hope them, take them a work like combination. So it's like them have said forces around to destroy my life. Not necessarily, no. Listen carefully. You are a magnet. All right? And if you're a magnet, then... Um, Steel is going to attract our dirt or some stuff is going to try to attach itself to you. What I want you to understand is very simple. So you said a contractor came there. Yeah. Okay. And the contractor was talking to who? Your woman? Yeah. So are the, your woman had the problem and the contractor? She had problem. So you get rid of the problem? <laughs> Why you need to understand you now? I a single woman in my life right now. I look a man you know. A good man, you know. Straight. I'm just saying. So my time, you know, the reason why a woman wouldn't approach you, you know, because you have somebody there where you tie up some space we need to let loose. Listen carefully. From a woman, disrespect you a certain way. You just move. You get me? Because here is it that she go, contract and she this and that. Now, chances are, for him have so much chat, you know, because she give him good chat, you know. Okay, fine. Now find yourself in the foolishness. Make sure you go on, man. Or if you can't leave, just left the year and just boogie. And find somewhere else. If I hear a place, you just go back and take her out. Just tell her, say, go on, to your contractor. I'm going to say it again. A whole heap of woman on the platform with singling on that street. Where I look good, man. And you're the one here, I know you. Big up. I am know you're a priest. So the question they go ask you now, um, the house that is there, a fair house? A rent, a rent it. The farm that is there, a fair farm? Yeah, fair place. Maybe the farm. Let me say, me get this straight. The farm that you're doing, a fair place. Yeah. But the house that you rent is fair. And you're entirely woman too, so time up. Yeah. Okay, so then I just leave it alone, man. Exactly. That's all you need to do. Just leave and, and boogie. What you need to do is very simple. I'm going to say it again. You are young, energetic, and you have Jesus of Nazareth. And a holy passing single woman on the platform. I'm going to say it again. You get me? We're mean God. Don't stay in them, the kind of relationship, them, my brother. You see it? For those of you that are here, so I'm single man there, Javinci. Big up on yourself. Inbox each other. You know what I'm saying? Big up yourself, fire. Blessings every time. I don't believe that you should be here and be single. And don't come tell me about you married to Jesus, you know. We don't know bullshit. Me married to Jesus. Okay, fine. Jesus, why you have a man now? But me married to Jesus. Okay, Jesus, why you have a girl now? Get yourself a girl, man. And get yourself a man. Okay, so we have three more individual here. And when we get the three individual, we are off. We're putting up the three individual and no more. Three individual and no more. Bless up. Tanya? Tanya? Okay. So we have one more, Rosemary, and we have Joy. Rosemary and Joy. Okay, so these are the last one. We don't gonna put up nobody else. We're gonna end the program now and we have joy. So if these individuals don't want to talk to me, that's it. And Marie, 
Okay, so Marie having a problem getting up, and let me see what happened to Joy now. So, people, we are about to go now. Joy. Joy. Okay, so Joy is not there. Okay. Um, prophetess. Prophetess Winsome, we're going to ask you to close us in prayer. For those of you that are here, welcome to the program, everybody. I greet you again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, Prophetess Winsome, embrace yourself. We're going to praise. Uh, you're going to close us in prayer. Amen. On this platform, for those of you that are here for the first time, welcome to the platform. Amen. I acknowledge your presence. I may not know the, all of you, but me know say there is new people here. Being the fact that we have 414 persons. This platform is not for everybody. This platform is only for the chosen few. The individuals. Who's, who am I referring to? Those individuals who know that God is talking to you. And you want to grow higher in the realm of the spirit. This is the only person can come on this program. So we want you to understand, very simple, we want you to understand that on this platform, on this platform, you have the right, listen carefully, on this platform, you have the right to ask me any question. On this platform, we talk about the three Jesuses that is inside the Bible. On this platform, we talk about why is it that they said that women cannot hear from God. We talk about everything on this platform. So if you don't have anywhere, listen carefully, all other platform of foolishness compared to this. If you're a true Christian and you listen to me, if you're a true Christian and you want to grow in the room of the spirit, this is the platform for you. When I ask you, know, I tell you, I tell you, and you can come here and try the spirit and test the spirit. So we're here Sundays, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, four day. And we are here from 5 in the evening. Eh? 5, 5.30. We are here. And then we stay here until we feel led to come off. So I feel led to come off now. So I will come off. Win some. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, everything that was said and done, mighty God of Daniel, I believe in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that it was said and done under the authority of the Holy Spirit. Mighty God, we give you thanks tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We bless your holy and your marvelous name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we ask, mighty God, for, for your continual blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty God, continue to open up our, our wisdom, our knowledge, and our understanding, mighty God, so we may understand more. We may use wisdom, mighty God, in every Everything that we do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty God, bless the man of God tonight as we depart one to another in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Continue, mighty God, to watch over us, Lord, because is there ever a time we need you, Lord, is now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, continue to pull out and to pluck down and to destroy everything mighty god it is not of you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth mighty god we ask lord that you burn into ashes right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth continue to bless us lord continue to guide us lord continue mighty god to override the devil mighty god that wants to override us that's why devil David said in his word, have mercy upon us, O God, according to your loving kindness and according to the multitude of your tender mercy. Continue to wash us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Continue to mold us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Continue to set us free as I tell the thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. So our meeting, our class, listen carefully. These are the days of the class. Sundays. Mondays. Wednesdays. And Fridays. Four day. Sunday. Monday. Wednesdays. And Fridays. And class begin at 5 p.m. 5.30. 5, 30, 5 to 5.30 p.m. Class begins. Every day. Amen. The four days, 5 p.m. The reason for this is very simple. We choose to come on 5 p.m. being the fact that 
we realize that many people would have um, be at work when the program is on. We used to come on 11 a.m. in the morning, and we realized that most people would have been at work. All right. And so we decided to come on um, 5 p.m. in the evening. All right. That's why we're here. Now, on this platform, we believe that man and woman, in fact, we don't believe, we know that man and woman are equal before the sight of God. And the man was not created from the ribcage of the... The woman was not created from the ribcage of the man. That is bullshit. You ever see man give birth? That is bullshit. Anybody was created first. It would be the woman. And from the vagina of the woman, God pulled the bigot man. Adam, the dummy. Yeah? Anybody were created first was the woman. And then from the vagina of the woman, God pulled the man. But nobody come tell me upon here, say God give birth. Adam give birth to Eve. That is bullshit. Let me give you a Bible now. In Genesis chapter 1, 27, God said he created them both male and female at the same time. And verse 28, he said, couple one another. In other words, have sex with each other and multiply. So how is it that God give them dominion in Genesis chapter 1, 28? And then you're going to tell me now in Genesis 2 that God saw that the man was lonely and then he created the woman. Life from the pit of hell. That's religion. That is religion. The Bible tells us from, judge, from Genesis 1 that he created both male and female. So in the Genesis 2 now, you come tell me about God saw that a woman was lonely. Tap on a bullshit. Big up on yourself. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thanks for everything. God wishes you. So we are here Sundays, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Class begin 5 p.m. Win some big up yourself and thanks again. All right. Thank All right? You yes. Yeah. Riches the blessing, everybody. Bye-bye. And for those gifters, thank you for those gifts. And for those of you that are here, thank you for staying with us. Amen. You are here, we stay. You are gone, we gone. So we are here for you. Amen. For those of you that are here, if you are feel led to be a blessing to keep the class online. You notice me teach for free? Yes. So if you feel led to be a blessing by keeping the class online, we are not going to beg you. Eh? We are not going to beg you. But if you feel led and you want to be a blessing, please be a blessing. You keep us in line. All right? We're here to give you the things that you need. And if you feel led, amen, to keep us in line, let it be done in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Blessings. So for those of you who would like to talk to me by sending a contribution, the number is 337-6685. 337-6685. And if you need counseling, you need somebody to pray with you. You want to talk to me, but you didn't want to talk to me on the live. You can call me on my number, 337-6685, and we can talk. People, if you call me, I am going to expect a donation. So you can talk with me all you want to talk, you know. I don't have a problem with that. But if you are one of those mean ones, please do not call me. I beg you. Because what I realize is that people tell me that the work that I have is free. So the demons that you have is free as well. So keep your free demons and me keep my free work. All right? I'm just saying. Big up yourself. By the way, what you see is what you get. I can't pretend. People, I can't pretend. All right? So what you see is what you get. All right? I am going to be respectful. So please be respectful. Big up on yourself. All right? It's how it feel. Big up yourself. <laughs> Prophet will feel. Big up yourself. Big up yourself. Bye-bye, everybody. See you again. I will bless thee, O Lord.